Good morning. Oh, oh, it worked today. I've been coughing all night long. Now, you know what? I don't think it's my cold anymore. I think I've got a little touch of acid reflux. So, <coughs> oh, there you go. Uh, <coughs> oh, there you go. Uh, straight to the point. Anyway, 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 fabulous, 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 fabulous day lined up for you today. Quilts, cushions, a new guest. Have a look at the menu. Here's today's menu at uh, 8 o'clock, trip around the world. 9 o'clock, introducing Deborah Sims dressmaking. 10 o'clock, the star block cushion with Jane. And then 11 o'clock, the Jitterbug Collection, a brand, brand new. Do you know what? Let me show you some of the, let me show you some of the things we're doing. Right, have a look at this picture of the trip of the world. Trip around the world quilt. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love that. So anyway, I've got two bundles for you to make that one. Uh, and it's, it looks very complicated. Jane says it's very easy. Easy enough for me to make, she says. So that's eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Oh, now, uh, we're meet, uh, introducing Deborah Sims today. You'll know her from um, Sewing Bee. Great British Sewing Bee. She's, now, we're not making the whole lot. We're doing techniques to do with jersey. Look at this lovely um, outfit she's made here. That is a dress and a slouch cardi. Now, apparently, you can make the cardi in three hours. It says in the book. Then, of course, uh, Jane then is back at um, 10 o'clock with the star cushion. We've got bundles to make a star cushion using a ruler from, um, uh, from a ruler shop. <laughs> so easy. Oh, I got very confused then. And then I've got brand new fabrics, the Jitterbug Collection. Now, um, you'll have fun in this last hour because they've all got unusual names. And Hannah, as you know, has issues with letters and numbers. Isn't it lovely? Isn't that beautiful? When we prepped yesterday, she got very, very stressed. Yes, so she's, there's going to be a lot of spelling. There's going to be a lot of spelling. Right, now, if you want you to get in touch, this is how you can do it. The best way to do it is go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com. What you do is you click on um, the shop now. Watch the, not shop, not shop. You can shop later. Watch the show, watch the show. There's me wafting that fabric. What you do is just scroll down the page a little bit and then you'll see that square there that says message to the studio. Just write a message there. Keep it short and brief. Only, oh, she spelled hello right today. Only because, only because uh, you can carry on writing as much as you like at your end, at our end, it cuts you off like it, Twitter used to be. While I'm there, look at the, um, scroll down the page a little bit more. Oh, they've gone. All the items I had yesterday were there. But as we go through the show today, all the items that I have from today's show will appear there. So if you tune in later, you can click on them, put them in your basket, and buy them. If they sell out, they won't be there. Uh, talking about putting things in your basket, scroll up to the top of the page, and you'll see on the right-hand side there, uh, now that was Mandy Shaw's Tis the Season quilt pattern we had yesterday. That will be what, what, what we're showing live on air. If you want that, you can click, put it in your basket. Now, there's something in the basket already, look. Oh, what have we got in the basket? So we've got that, oh, nice. Um, anyway, what you need to do is check out the basket. Check out as many times as you like, because we only charge you one PMP of two pounds and 95 pence, no matter how many times you check out during the day. Now, you can also get in touch by email, right? On the email, right, you can send in pictures. You can send in longer messages and things like that. Things like that. So I'm just concentrating on my box. Here we go. What's this? It's the 9 o'clock special for the 12 days of Christmas. It's day four today. Now, did you send the message, Hannah? Oh, she's gone quiet. Well, the picture we had yesterday didn't have day four written on it, did it? We've sorted it. We've sorted it. Right, OK, in here, at 9 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, we've got to spend... Now, I know what's in the box today. If you watch me regularly, you'll know it's one of my favourite, favourite, favourite items to bring you, right? Uh, it's perfect for if you're doing... Uh, patchwork. It's perfect for doing little uh, projects. And we're bringing it to a price less than we've brought it to you before. I know. But you won't know until 9 o'clock. You won't know until 9 o'clock. Right, OK, we've got to get on with the show. Do you want to have a look at the quilt that Jane's making? Have a look at the quilt Jane's making, because I've got two bundles to show you for, uh, to, for to make said quilt. I love it. We love it. OK, I mean, we love our rainbow bundles. Now, the one that Jane's made that one out of is this one here. Uh, what you get is you get seven metres of fabric. You get half a metre of each of these, apart from the one at the end there, of which you get two metres. That which indigo in this one. Now, all of those are spectrum solids, apart from the indigo, which is a linear 
uh, linear print. You also get the wadding and you also get the thread for £59.99. That's that one there. Now, I'll talk to you about... No, hang on, you got that wrong, Hannah. We'll talk to you about the size in a minute because that bundle will make four of the size that Jane's made. Just so you know, four of those. Will make four of those, but oh, I need to speak to you about it. I need to make four of the actual round-the-world bit. OK, the other bundle we've got is this one, the Jewel. This one's called Jewel. This is all linear prints. All of these are linear prints, half a metre of all of these. And then you get two metres of the um, ebony at the end there. You get the thread. And you get the um, wadding. £77.49. and pence. There it is. Fabulous. Oh, look, that one's rolled over. Whoever took that picture, the um, wadding's rolled over. They're all Macau solid. Uh, they're linears. They're all Macau linear prints. Right, ready? Morning. How are you? Hi, thank you. Now, uh, I think... Look at, our, look at our badges. You've got a... Um, I was going to say rice pudding there. It's not rice pudding. Um, Christmas pudding. And I've got a little um, Robin about... To, it must be a girl Robin, because the girl Robin's a little bit chubbier than the boy Robin, oh, aren't they? Robin. Now, who, what's your name, your friend, that made these for us? Jane Kent. She made these for us specially. Yes. Anyway, thank you, Jane, for my badge. I shall wear it with pride. I love this. I completely and utterly love it. It's I mean, we all love the Bargello, but yeah. this is another form of the Bargello, isn't yeah. it? It's, I think it's an easier way. Of but how it. effective is it for an it's easy... Lovely. And it, you say it's easy, but how effective is that? Now, can, I'm just going to step in, right? This bit here is called... The, that bit there is the round the world, isn't it? Yes. Which you've made... So if you wanted to... Because this is a Jane Alcock special that you put around <laughs> the edge, isn't it? Or did your mum do it? No, I did it today. Um, but this bit here, that bit there, is the round the world, isn't it? That quilt. So if you yes. wanted to, you could just make that and have that lying on top of your bed, on your lap, or whatever yes. like that. Yeah. Now, there's seven metres of fabric in this bundle. That's mm -hmm. a lot of fabric, That's isn't it? That's a very large amount of oh, fabric. Oh, excuse me. Can I have a look? Homage. Homage to the round the world. Coordinated. Not as nice, not as nice as yours. But anyway, uh, oh no, they're saying upstairs. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Right. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because that one there is a different size to the one that you're going to be demoing now. That's right. But yeah. for seven meters, you could make. You would get. Because you you get yeah. half a meter of each of the bright colours, and you get two meters of the indigo, which you've used as the background, and the backing. Yes. But you could almost get another fabric for the backing and yeah. then make a bigger version of that, couldn't you, with the yes. fabric? For the larger one that I'm going to show you... Yes. Because you need four strips of each fabric. Right. I used one and a half inch wide strips for that on one. On that one. For the larger one, where you use two and a half inch strips... Right. You will get... You would be able to get two lots out of it. So for that one, you'd be able to get four lots. So you'd, in, in, the, in the plain colours here, you'd be able to make four of those. Yes. And then, obviously, if you did this, you'd only be, you wouldn't be able to do the backing, no. but you could, do two, you could do the backgrounds in the indigo Definitely. and then use a different fabric. Yeah. Or, of course, add them together and make an even bigger quilt. Yes. Okay. And with the two and a half inch strips, you would have enough to do the backing and the binding in the indigo. Right, in that size. In, in the two in, and a half inch. In the inch one that you're doing now. Size. Okay, yeah. right. Let's start. Now, if you've got any... Load, but the thing is, even if you make that from the bundle, you can have loads of rainbow fabrics left for your stash, yes, aren't you? Yeah, you will. I mean, if you just want to make that one... Yes. ..you'd have enough to make another quilt left over. See, so... so we're, we're, you, could make, you could make that... Yeah. ..and you could make the two-and-a-half-inch wide quilt from the bundle. So one of those and a two-and-a-half-inch... Front, cut. front. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Right, if you've got any questions straight... Now, the thing is, there are no instructions here. So either have your pen and pencil... Oh, no, pen and paper, pencil, pencil paper, ready, or go to YouTube later and watch it on YouTube later. Um, but it's quite simple. It's quite it simple. Is. It's isn't very it? straightforward. <coughs> right, OK. Um, we're going to need two and a half inch strips. Now, you've got ten colours. You don't have to have ten colours. You can have less. You just have a, a smaller trip around the world. Oh, OK. So it's a mini, mini trip. Yeah. You, yes. I think, you know... Six would be the minimum, really, to get a nice effect. So that would be a trip around Europe, would yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> so I've folded my fabric in half and in half again. Right. 
The Stripology ruler. Which has been out of stock and it's back in stock now. Always very, very, very popular. Has the um, lines in it. So you cut through. Yep. And it goes up in inch increments. But it also has, on the, the black star, it's one and a half inch cuts. And then on the squares, yeah, it's two, it's two and, and a half. half. And I'm, for this one, I'm going to cut two and a half. So I'm lining up the white line against the fold of my fabric. Right. I'm going to, I'm going to move... Can I ask a quick question yeah. before you go in further? What's the dotted line for over there? I think that's for, if I turn it round the right way, yeah. for me, you line that up with the edge of your fabric. So does that give you a quarter-inch seam allowance? If, if you no, because you don't need it oh, because no, no, it's no, already there. Not, no. But I think if That's just for lining up, yeah, got it. If you can see my fabric's not... It's a mess. It's not straight. Yeah. So I would line that dashed line up with the edge of the shortest bit. Oh, OK. So that I knew that I'd got plenty yeah. for the first cut. So the first cut is on the zero. Right. And then... I'm doing two and a half, so I'm looking at the square. So you don't even have to count. You don't even have you to can't, keep no, counting. You know that the, the square line is the two, two and, and a half. half. So I'm going one. So that's like a design roll, isn't it? Two and a half yeah. inches. Two. So if you want to make your own jelly roll or design roll for somebody as a gift, you could use this and cut all your different fabrics up and then roll them up and make a nice jelly roll. Yeah, you could, yeah. So there we go. That's the um, first. I'm just thinking, do you know what I'm thinking? Now I'm talking, I might be talking rubbish. Because you know when you do your add, sometimes you say, oh, you have to add seven eighths of an inch, or you add one and... Oh, no, I'll just be quiet. I'll be quiet. You, can't, you haven't got the quarter of an inch. No, 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 no. You've only got I'm half thinking if inch. you mark, ma match that one up, that's an extra... So that line would be, the square would be two and three quarter inches. It would, yes. So anyway, could I'll shut make... up, I'll be quiet. So you get four, so you want, from each of your colours, you want four strips. So, so, so you've cut through uh, four, four layers of fabric there, because you, you've yes. folded it in half and in half again. again. Just because it fits under yes. the ruler. Yeah, OK. Uh, so, hang on. So now, was that half a metre that you started I don't with? think it was quite half no, a metre, exactly. because it was my so you, bit left over. But you've got all that left over. So this yeah. is your bit left over after making that? Yes. And cutting out some other strips. There's lots of fabric I was given over. slightly more than you get oh, okay. in the bundle, okay. but yes. Fine. But you would have, if you cut out one and a half inch strips and the two, you would have that sort of a bit left over. Right. So you could make this middle bit yes. as a cushion cover. Oh, wow. And then make your two and a half inches of quilt. Oh, yeah. So you can, there's enough fabric in there to do both of them? Yes. Brilliant. So. So you've used all the colours, haven't you? So there's ten. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine. One, Should two, be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Oh, hang on. You, you keep cutting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just, oh, oh, there we go. Sorry. There are ten colours. There was just one missing there. One missing underneath. So you've got ten colours plus the background. Yes. Oh, look, I love it already. So you, you can decide how you want your <laughs> you've colours just gone to go. I've gone rainbow because I love rainbow. And it's... It's a nice combination. Okay, so you're just you're saying that you don't need to have all ten colours. You can have six colours if you wanted. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. It wouldn't be as big, obviously, and you'd have to make more squares. I was going to say, or would you repeat? You could repeat it again. Yeah, you could. You could make it the same again, and you'd have a different effect okay. again. Okay, lovely. So I'll let you get on. Uh, people checking out on their baskets on the strip holiday already, so please be careful there. So you decide on your layout of your right. fabrics. Now, you can number your fabrics if you want to. Yes. Just to help you keep them in order. But if you've got them laying out on your table, if you've got enough space. You then need to, to sew the two strips. I sew mine together in pairs. Because? Because if you sew them together in a row, your fabric will tend to banana. Nice. So I sew it together in pairs. Oops. Oops. Apparently, Prince, um, what's the prince has just got engaged to? Um, Harry. Harry. He's having He's banana, having banana cake, cake yeah? for his wedding. Because he loves yeah. bananas. 
Yeah, I heard that on the radio. Because he likes, he likes banana flan and he likes banana ice cream. Yeah, I like banana ice cream. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used to work as a, a waitress, one of my first jobs as a waitress, and the, the chef used to make his own ice cream, and the banana ice cream was delicious. Okay, we'll do that one day, shall we? <laughs> banana ice cream. Right, okay, so you sewn together in strips. And what I've done... Yes. I don't know if you can see, but I've pressed the seam on the pairs. I've pressed the seam to the left-hand side right. on each one. At each time? Yes. Right. This will make more sense later on. So, I'm going to sew the pairs together into yeah. fours. I'll just do this one. So, seam allowance, quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch seam allowance. Has there been, um, I went to Jane's shop a couple of weeks ago, has there been um, lots of response to make the local paper and things? Um, we had a little bit of it in the paper beforehand. Right. Um, but I'm going to send something in so that we can give the grand total and oh. a bit more about it. Has it gone up? Um, I can't remember what I told you last what time. What is it now, then? It's £3,430 oh, yeah, is, yeah. the, is the final Oh, that's figure. fantastic. I'm just... I'm overjoyed. I can't, I can't believe it myself, to be honest. It Aww. was just such a lovely weekend. It was brilliant. And how's your mum? She's good, yeah. She's busy because she's got um, the nativity that she's organising and then she has... Um, What's she playing? Wise man. <laughs> no, she organises it. Oh. She's the producer. Oh. Um, and she's bossy. And um, she has a charity sing-along at her house, so she's busy decorating oh. the house. All... A charity sing-along? When yeah. does she have that? Um, it's the... Oh, I'm going to get this wrong now. It's the Thursday... Well, no, no, because we're not all going to turn up. Um, we won't give her a dress out, just in case. I think it's the 14th, if that's the Thursday. OK. Before Christmas. Are you going? Yes, I'll be there. It's lovely. It's lovely, lovely, So lovely. we'll go around to her house and we'll sing songs? Yeah, we have um, an hour of, like, Christmas songs, you know, like... Carols? No, just the songs. Oh, like Slade? Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, not Slade, but... Mary's boy child and... Oh, yeah, um, Johnny Mathis. There's 12 Days of Christmas yeah. and those sorts of songs. Yeah. Then we have an hour's break where we have a few nibbles and... Drinks. ...more wine and stuff yeah. and the raffle and all of that sort uh -huh. of thing. And then lights go off and we all have little candles or little tea light things. Oh. Not, you know, battery ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, we, we then sing carols. Oh, I think I might cry. <laughs> You'll have to come, it's lovely. 14th? I'm not invited. I'm not I haven't had an invite. Well, I bet you'll get one now. Um... Has she got a big house, your mum, then? Yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> now, it's does lovely. Auntie Hyacinth come? Sorry, we will go with the sewing in yes, a minute. Yes, she does. She does. She's a big help to my mum. She comes and helps with the fundraising and well, things like she, that. Well, she won't. She'll waft, I think, <laughs> Auntie Hyacinth. She's called Auntie Anne, but she's like Hyacinth. She's got thing. a lovely voice. She's got a beautiful oh, singing voice. I can imagine. Voice. Yeah. I can imagine, yeah. yeah. Well, mum has as well. Mum's got a lovely voice, too. Oh, why didn't you do any singing in the church when we did the... Um, Quilting, we should have a sing-along quilting Yeah, we thing, should have done something. We? We oh. Anyway, back to the... Um... Right, so, I'm going to press the seam this time towards this seam. Right, OK. I'll let you do that so we can see what you mean. Again, I always like to press my seam flat first and then press it open. Right. And if you keep the fabric that you want the seam to go under on the top... Right. Which seems wrong. It seems it should be the other way around when you think about it, doesn't it? And it, that always works. Now, um, Hannah's saying, oh, she's not done that very well. Look at the ends, they're all a bit wonky. Yeah, they're all a bit wonky. They will be wonky, because even though it's all the same fabric... She it's, all, it's all the same manufacturer's fabric. Yeah. The strips are all... Oh. Because if you look at this end... So it's end, not your cutting, then? No, because it's salvaged, oh, it's salvaged. Okay. That one's virtually the same... All to the edge, but these yeah. ones are slightly different. They, they like more, they dye more yellow, yeah. obviously. So, <coughs> but you're going to cut those off anyway, aren't yes, you? Yes, so because you're going to straighten it. To see Same if you use different cutting. fabrics. You make another one at home afterwards. You could just use. You could do one just blues and greens, yes, Hannah. You Hannah. could do all the same shades if you wanted to. You know, if you wanted a red one, you could go do lots of different red reds, shades of red. Oh, yeah, or Hannah loves blue whatever and green you and because she thinks. She lives at Malibu, you see. I have to say that those colours, sea colours, are my favourite colours. Oh, there you go, I'm, Hannah. I love turquoises and sea colours. 
So you've sewn all your pairs together, then you've sewn those two into fours. Yes. And you've still got a pair left, left. over. Right. So I'm going to sew that pair to this four here. Yeah. It's in the, okay. in the right combination. So these strips are all two and a half inches wide. You cut them at two and a half inches wide. Cut them at two and a half inches. And you're doing a quarter inch seam allowance each side. Yeah. Which means the fine finished strips will be two inches wide. wide. Yeah. So, but you could make them, like the ones, well, the ones on the wall, they're an inch of, they finished inch. Yes. So you cut them to an inch and, and a half, half wide. Yeah. You could make them bigger. I mean, the amount of fabric you've got there, you could make them four and a half if you wanted to. Well, I was going to say, you could go, I wouldn't go any narrower than a one, would you? No, you'd drive yourself potty. Potty. It would be a challenge. You could challenge yourself. Yeah, but, but there it is, there it is. They're all inch, finished inch squares. So anything, inch, and then what would be the biggest? you'd go to with that without it get becoming ridiculous um six six and a half five oh, and a half. Blimey, yeah you huge. could you could have it you know you'd get you'd still get the effect it would be a very big quilt um now and there was one, wasn't there to one your I've got to, oh i should have got, pick, taken a picture on my phone i've got a picture on my phone there was one hanging up in the in the church was it now yes there was but it was kind of it went like this didn't it that was the Bargello. Oh, it was Bargello, like yeah. that? Yeah, it was all swirly, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was no, never-ending swirls. It yes. was like moving. You know, like the birds, in, when you're driving, well, it can be any time of day, but you see all, like, thousands of starlings all yes. doing this swooping and everything all together and creating pictures. That's what that quilt looked like, didn't yes, it? Yes, it does. And you can get Bargello that does patterns that do all sorts of... Because when I've done the Bargello, it's just gone in a, like a loop yes. shape. But you can do Bargello in all sorts of yes. combinations to get swirly um, patterns. Uh, Jane's uh, pattern for, or instructions for a Bargello are on our website. You go to projects and guides, it's in there. If you want to do a bar, because you could do a Bargello with this bundle as well, couldn't you? If you do yes. it around the world. Yeah, you could, yeah. Because it's the same. You start, for your Bargello, you start with the same principle. You cut all your strips, you sew yes. your strips together. Right, Angela in Staffordshire says, Good morning, John and Jay, loving the show. I'm almost ready to start my first ever quilt. I've learned so much from watching you. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Angela. Um, I, also, Angela, send us a picture of it when you've made it. If you've made a Bargello or around the world, do send it in. Email, you have to email it, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. Send it in, that's the only way, can, while Jane's on, we can have a look at them. It's always lovely to see what people have made. I yes. love, I love it when customers have been in the shop and then they come back and show me what they've made with the fabric they've bought. Yes. I always find it fascinating. Right, so right. we've got that, that's a six part, and then we're going to sew that four yes. to that. So you're cre basically creating a huge rainbow flag to start yes. with. Yes, you're just making more fabric, aren't you, really? Yes. So my <coughs> husband says, I don't know why you cut it all up to sew it so all back, back together. together again. Yeah, but you just don't understand. No, he doesn't understand. He's very supportive. He doesn't even know how to work the blooming card machine, does he, really? <laughs> he does when there's a signal there. Yeah. Oh, she's that. Oh, photo already from oh, Sarah. <gasps> That's lovely. This is her trip around the world so far. That's she says it looks very daunting when you first start, but believe me, it's so easy once you get going. Oh, look, I was going to say, what's that? Is that a paint colour chart in the background? She's got a stripology with the instructions of the stripology at the back. What's she got in her tubs at the back there? Then? Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Looks lovely. What colour? Can you just put it back on my feet? You don't have to show it to Just looking at the colours, because you, you've got, like, greys and purples and pinks in there. Nice. No. Also, oh, no, because that's when, that's when it can spin. Hang on, how many colours are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm look, just counting the amount of colours there are. Six, I think. One, one, two, three, four. That's the kitchen counter, isn't it? The tiles. Are the tiles the floor, Hannah says, or the kitchen counter? Anyway. We're just nosy. We none of us have got lives, you see. We just like to vicariously live our life through everyone else. Right. So I'll just press that to the wrong way. How many of these... So you've just, this is the width of the fabric. Yes. And this is just one of each colour. Yes. And you've cut four... So you may have to make four of these flags. Yes. To make the, the quilt. Yes, you get 
what we call a block. Yes. You'll get a block and a half out of each oh, okay. strip. Okay. Yeah. So you've got your ten colours yeah. all together in a strip. You're now going to join that. So you're making a strip, tube. The last strip to the first strip, yeah, into a tube. Now, when you join them together, don't be tempted to line up the top. Yes. Line up the sides and try and get it so it's hanging straight. Right. Because, as we know, all the strips aren't the same. So you want it to hang straight rather than... Not hanging straight. ...lining up. Might try it from the other end. So, yes, yeah, so if you'd, if you'd stick something like we said at the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six, you'd be, this would all be so banana, they wouldn't match, would they, now? You'd struggle. Yes. And, it, and you'd be like, well, how am I going to get this to go straight? Yeah. Because it's all wobbly. That's to be coming if this. I'll go through the bundles again for you in a second, but make sure you check out your baskets, those of you who've got them in your baskets. Oh, already? Now, the Bright's bundle, which is one Jane's using here, there's less than 20 of those already. There's less than 20 of those already. I'm going to go over the gun, go around. I'll go through them all in a minute, yeah. Oh, no. Having a lover's tip upstairs. Oh, dear. She's in a bad mood with him. Yeah, they're on. They're not about, with him, you are. Oh, they're back on. She's, his nickname's Pumpkin. They're back on speaking terms now. Right. Okay. Do you need to press that one as well? No, because oh. you can't press it at this point, because you can't press it one way or the other. Okay. Now what then? So we're going to cut it up again. Oh, using the stripology? Yes. So, I'll turn it around the other way. Oh, does it matter which way round it is? No, I don't think it does, but I always like to cut from left to right for some reason. So, I'm matching up that dashed line with the, just the edge of the salvage, really. Right. And also you've got straight lines on the ruler here anyway, so you can match all your seams up yeah. with the straight lines as well, if you want to. In this instance, I would match it the line, the, the white line, yeah. up with the bottom with the of the... Seam allowance. Of the strip, really. Right. It, in theory, it should match up with your seam allowance. And now I'm going to cut it into two and a half inch strips, and you want ten two and a half inch pieces. OK. So for a block and a half? This is for just one block. Oh, OK. So you, you need can just Two go, and a half, two and a half, yeah. Yeah, you can go all the way along your strip, cutting it into two and a half inch. Helen's mission. Hello both. I thought she'd been rude. She put, hello, tatouage, but it's actually lovely uh, trip around the world. It's a, just the start of the yeah. thing. Uh, please, could you remind us about the direction for pressing seams, says Helen in Derbyshire. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, Helen, but on this, you've got one seam going in and one seam, they, they all go in. So yes. when you first start with your pairs, press the seam to the left-hand side. Right. And then when you join your pairs together, press the seam to the right-hand side. Which then gives you this, right, where you've got a strip in the middle and then the two seam allowance going in on that one. Yeah. Then the next one, the two seam allowances go out. And then, oh, then they, the next one yeah, isn't they, pressed because it's the top, is it? Yeah. They, they literally go alternate. So yeah. one goes in, two inwards, the next one goes two outwards. Yeah. OK. So we've got five from that one lot. Oh, sorry. It's OK. OK, just so you know, a third of the stock of the stri tripology have been sold, have sold out, right? It, oh, this always happens. And we bought, we bought lots more this time. We've got lots, because we know how much you love it. Hannah's desperate for one, because you keep buying them, and she doesn't get one, then. This time, I'm matching up that first cut line against the edge of the, the line that I've cut. Right. To line it up. So you're cutting another five, are you now? Yes. So. 
So the, the only difference between this and the Bargello is that you cut different sizes. When you cut a Bargello, don't you cut you different cut sizes? Different width strips, yes, yeah. different width strips. You yeah. wouldn't, you would, no, you wouldn't be able to use the stripology because some of them are, are three quarters. Yes. So you can use the stripology for your first lot of cutting, but yes. then for the Bargello, you need to go to a an ordinary ruler. Okay. So you've got. You see, uh, yeah, this, it, it's like it's like any um, any creative grid. It's got the, the sticky resin, or not sticky, but the resin on the back to stop it slipping. I think you can cut three quarter inch. I think you see this dotted. Oh, sorry. See that yeah. dotted line there? If you'd lined up, this might be me talking rubbish now. If you lined that up with the edge there. Yes, that gives you an extra quarter, quarter of an inch. inch. So yes. if you wanted one and three quarters, You'd you could cut in the one and a half because yeah. you've then got the extra quarter of an inch there. Yeah, you're right. I yeah, mean, you have to think about it. I yes. think, uh, have we got the instructions for the stripology, please? I haven't got any instructions for it. I didn't press hard enough with my ruler. So I'm just... The pamphlet that comes with it, please. Thank you. Uh, what, oh, OK. I just didn't press, press. hard enough. So. Another photograph. <gasps> Oh my word! Oh, that's lovely. That's gorgeous. This is Julie. She said she pieced it slightly differently, and she's back to hers with fleece. Oh, I bet that's all snuggly. Cozy, isn't it? So hang on, let's have a look then. So the block. So all you've done is made the blocks and twisted them round slightly. Is that what's happened? What you can see, if you imagine that cut in half. Yeah. And then that side put on that side. Oh, OK. Oh, yes. And it makes it like the cross. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it. We've got the bits. The, We're yeah. going to get the bits together. Oh, God. That's, who was that one? Sorry, Julie, say. Julie, that was lovely. Right, OK. Right. OK. So you've got all of these pieces. Ten and of these. Ten of them. Now, this oh. is where numbering your fabric might help, because on mine, red is number one. Yes. So the first one you do is you unpick between one and ten, so between your top one and your okay. bottom one, really. And then the next one, you unpick between one and two. Yes. Oh, glasses. So you're, not, you, you're unpicking one down each time. This unpicker's brilliant. Oh, are there any left? Oh, there are some. This is the picker with the light on it, look. Yeah. You know, when lights are drawing in. Well, you, if, you, if your um, workroom is north facing, you don't get bright sunlight in your workroom then, do you? OK, so that one goes there. Upside down. Is it right? Yeah, just upside down. Yeah. And so the next one is between three and two and three. And that one needs to be between three. Oh, hang on, so you've done two and three. So yeah. I'm doing between three, three and, and four. four. One, two, three, four. So I'm doing that one. Yeah. And you're doing four and five. Oh, thank you. Be a nice one to do with like your mum or your friend or something, wouldn't it? Because you can sit and chatter when you're doing your own picking and things. Yeah. Or and not. It's, yeah, do you like to be on your own when you want when you're making your quilts? No, actually I like company. Blimey, you can't pick that one very fast. You like company when you're doing yours? Yeah. Do you do much sewing in your room upstairs from your shop? Yes, that's where I do most of my sewing actually. That's it. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just, I've just got the stripology, um, when you get the stripology ruler, look at the instructions that you get here. These come with all creative grids, they're fantastic, fantastic uh, instructions with them. All the different things, look, pages. You can do squaring up, um, half inch or whole inch sizes there. And then you've got all the detailing there. So, so when you're squaring up a block at the end, you can square up using this ruler as well. Yeah. It's fantastic. Right? I'm I just think gonna, it's I'll, The reason I've got it in, see, is if they mentioned the... Oh, no, they're, they're, yes, the quarter inch. Gives you... To make the cutting in... <laughs> the stripology ruler is not limited to cutting in half-inch increments, even though the slits are half an inch apart. When you want to cut in quarter inch increments, follow the guide below. You will make your first cut through the slits indicated, then remove the squared up piece of fabric on the left 
to the zero, slit, slide the ruler along and line the edge of the first cup with the quarter inch dotted line on the left. Yeah. Then you make your second cup through. So you can do three quarters. Three quarter inch. Yeah. And, um, did we say, did you say I had a question? Sorry. Nothing. I've got Helen still on my iPad. Margaret says, I love the show. Can I use a jelly roll for this quilt? For this size? Well, you, you don't yes. want to waste it, do you? So for the, your jelly roll would be perfect for this because a jelly roll design roll is two and a half inches wide and that's how wide these strips were to begin with to make a finished two inch square. So a design roll would be perfect. The only thing about a design roll is, would there be enough? You might not get the same effect because you need four strips you can, of the same colour, don't yeah. you? You can get some jelly rolls that have four colours of the same. The marble. Are, they, are they given a name then? Are the Moda marbles do. Oh, there you go, Moda marbles. You only have eight fabrics in it oh, okay. because there's 42 strips generally, generally in a jelly roll. Right. But if you have a jelly roll, you will find that you probably get four strips of the same colourway. Yes. So if you don't mind that the pattern might be slightly different, different. you'd get the same effect. Yeah, if but you it'd be also very, it'd be dramatic because you'd have all the different yeah. fabrics in there, wouldn't you? Right, I'm, I'm going to have to go and do fabrics in a second, but... Um, oh, there's another picture come. Oh, what? We're not going to... Oh, that's lovely. From who, sorry? Honora. H-O-N-O-R-A. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's, again, using all different patterns. That's cave, isn't see, it? Yeah, you can see there's only six colours in that one. So it's good. There's six colours in that six one. Six colours in that one. And that's our first ever quilt, finished Fantastic. quilt. Fantastic. Right. Um, I'm going to do fabrics, but you're going to now, you've done this. Now we've unstitched this. You can see the wet layout. Yeah. You're now going to stitch. Now, again, will you do two? Yeah, I'll stitch two, it together in two. pairs. Now, when we did that business with the seams, yes. this is where it comes in, because now your seams will lock into each other. So you'll get nice meeting nice meeting points perfect where they go all right so you start stitching those together yeah i will oh hello jay just woken up oh, jay's had to come in on an emergency dash because um our other floor mentions poorly so well done jay you even got a nice top on and everything today you look smart today i bet he was going out i bet they were going out christmas shopping right while you're saying those let me go and do the bundles if that's all right two different bundles bright bundle first is this thread right for this one? Oh, yes, because you've got the indigo, I suppose, though. Okay, so you get 10 of these, all of these half a metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. This is the one Jane's working with now, so you've seen these colours. Beautiful, beautiful colours there. And you get two metres of the indigo. That's for your backing and your background. Uh, you get the thread and you get the interfacing. Uh, uh, wadding, sorry, wadding. £59.99. Then... Moving across here to the, oh, the, right, that one there, the one I'm showing you on the screen now, single figures. Single figures, right? Uh, then this one here, this is Jewel. These are all, lit, they're all spectrum solids apart from the indigo. These are all linears, right? Half a metre, half pumpkin, half a metre, 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 two metres. Two meters plus the thread plus the wadding, batting, wadding at 77 pounds and 49 pence. So, have you done those? Yeah, I'll just, <laughs> just went off a little bit there. But... I thought I was going to sew this one. As You're going in... to do it? No, that's fine. You're busy now. Oh, little tickly cough there. Would you press that one while I... Right, which one do you want under? It doesn't matter on this one. On this occasion, you just press it up right, and okay, away. I'll press the seam. Okay, I'll set the seam. Oh, for one horrible minute then, I thought, I thought, um, director Mike said five minutes. I was like, oh, no, that can't be right. It wouldn't surprise me. This is like the quickest hour in my whole life when I'm on here. What's that? It's the quickest hour. What, when you're on here? When I'm on here, it just Because you're loving it. It could be true. Hmm? It could be true. They say, don't they, that time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Now, let's, should we do an hour where you're on your own? Yeah. And see how quickly that hour goes. <laughs> oh, I think I'd just 
Jane has a James has a nightmare of being left on her me walking away and leaving on her own here. I think I wouldn't know what to say, and I'd become all sort of like. I think my mouth would stop working. I can't see that happening. <laughs> um, have you put your Christmas tree up yet? No. Why not? No, she said. I oh I, do you know? Get your mum to do it. She's got nothing else to oh, do. Oh, I get quite like on a soapbox about it all, about people putting their Christmas trees up too early. It's and... December now. I know, but it's not Christmas yet. Well, it's what, what now because What have you got between it's... now and Christmas to look forward to? Just work. Apart your mum's up just work. <laughs> I have to say, I d when we were little, we didn't put the Christmas tree up until a couple of days before Christmas Eve. Yeah, we um, used to put ours up the Saturday before yes, Christmas. Yes, that, that, that would be it. It would be yeah. the weekend before. Yeah. Um, little Paul's will be up. I just think... Because I like to keep my decorations up until Twelfth Night. Yeah, till, till the... F I now, do you call Twelfth Night the fifth or the sixth, then? Sixth. Fifth, it's the night of the fifth is Twelfth Night. Is it? Yeah. Because oh, I always think it's Epiphany, which is the sixth of January. Say it again. Epiphany, right, when... Oh, yes, Yeah, when the, when the kings came. Yeah. Um, that's the day I always think of as being Twelfth The Twelfth Day. Yeah. Oh, I take them down the night of the fifth. But a lot of the time when I'm feeling grumpy, they come down on Boxing Day. Well, this is what I think. I think people that put their decorations up and everything now will have had enough of them by Boxing Actually, Day. Actually, we felt this has been here since July, this I tree. Know. Well, I've had Christmas fabric in the shop since June. Yeah, so. well, don't don't talk to Timothy about it because he hates Christmas. Not he hate, loves Christmas, but he hates Christmas any time apart from December the twenty fifth. Yeah, I love Christmas. I think it's a lovely time of the year, but I do get a bit bar humbug about all the decorations oh. and everything in the shops and stuff, which is a bit silly when I do it myself in June. Yes, <laughs> I get bar humbug about the whole thing anyway. Um, so when are you going to put them up then? The weekend before Christmas? Yes, probably. And I won't be putting very many up because we're actually going on holiday on the 20th. Don't be telling people that. 28th of December. But so. you've got friends moving into your house, haven't you, while you're away? Yes. Well, my son will still be yes. at home. So. The what? My son will still be at home. Oh, right. OK, that's all right then. Because, because cause you know, a, a friend of mine who uh, is a... Um, he's not a traffic warden. Why was I going to say traffic warden then? What's it called, the people who go in the aeroplanes and serve your food? One of those. Uh, yes. Stuart. Stu 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 yeah. And uh, somebody at work uh, got back from a trip and they'd been burgled. And the police came round and said, did you put on Facebook by any chance, sir? That you... And he went, yeah, yeah, but I've just arrived in Miami. And they said, anybody who knows your lifestyle or knows that you live here on your own is going to know that you've just advertised to the whole world that your house is empty. Yeah, and apparently insurance companies now are looking on your Facebook status to see this. Exactly. Because if you are burgled, they won't yeah, pay that's out. Yeah, that's exactly what because he said. Because it's, it's not... You know, it's like leaving your front door open, basically. Yeah. Um, I, um... Because I've got Norman and Ellie, whenever I go away, I have to have somebody to move in anyway. Yeah. So, um, so my house is never empty. It's always full of people. Oh, I'm Hannah's telling a story, but I'm not sure who she's telling it to. Oh, it's nothing to do with us, then. Oh, yes. Oh, no. OK. Have a look, right, this is, this is a Neil, you know Neil, the YTS boy? This is his Christmas, ow, this is his Christmas tree, he's put it up, right? I, I love the fact he's only got one. Now, I'm sorry, but I thought that fireplace, that, that had Lego, oh no, tell me they're not Lego Father Christmases. Because he collects Lego, doesn't he? Are they Lego Father Christmas? And look, he's got his card from his one friend. That's very Christmas cardy looking, isn't it? With it is. beautiful pictures. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm coming. Oh, no, we need to have. Oh, I was having a good look at the room, anyway. Okay. Blimey. So, did they put theirs up yesterday, did they? Must oh, have done. Bobbins run out. Mm. So, in all of that, with no bobbins. What did I say to you before you came on? Check the bobbin. Check your bobbin doesn't run out. What's the matter, Hannah? I've had one Christmas card. Oh, no, I've had two Christmas cards one from Mandy Shaw and one from my friend Chris Snow. That's all I've had so far. Again, that's very early, isn't it? OK. Ooh. Hannah's had a Christmas card from a complete stranger. You sure it's for you, Hannah? To Hannah. <laughs> Full address. And they've written their address. They've written their address on the back of the card. She has no idea it's from. Well, at least she's got their address so she can send one back. Oh, no. And it's put a name. I wouldn't say the name of the person. Your husband, it says. Oh, not your husband. Oh, his surname might be husband. I've got a friend called Mary Husband. 
I don't know. She doesn't know who he is. Oh, is it just from him? Just from a man and she doesn't know who he is? I'd be frightened. I'd be scared yeah. if I had something is, are, like that. Are they the... She's put it up anyway, because she's frightened <laughs> her, but she's put it up because she not others. Is it the man who lives in the shed in the... In the um... Oh. Was the person who had your house before you called Hannah? Oh. I'd be scared. Oh. From the same person? Is there a shop? Is it from a shop? You, you've obviously bought something in their shop. <coughs> Bring it in and we'll have a look at it. We'll... Oh, here we go. It doesn't say husband at all. Because of Hannah's writing, it most probably says, uh, have a lovely Christmas, your boss Neil, it most probably says. Something like that. I think it's a legit, sh I think it's a one from a shop. Yes. What shop do you go into a lot in your village? It could be, not Hasta. <laughs> it could be, you know, anyway, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. The, the mysteries of Hannah's life. So we're going to sew these together into pairs. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, we're all right. Are we, are we all right for time? Well, we've got about... Seven or eight minutes oh, left. Oh, I don't think we'll do it in that Pardon? time. Pardon? Will we do it in that time? Oh, yeah. Will we or we will? Will we? <laughs> no, we will. Well, you will. I will. Lots of you have got this bundle in your baskets. Right, when everyone who's got it in their baskets has checked out, there's only four available left of this bundle, of the, the bundle at Jane Jusen. I'm quite tempted to buy these, both of these bundles and sell. So if you, if you bought both bundles, you could make a huge one, couldn't oh, you? Oh, gosh, yes, you'd make an enormous one. Oh, no, one. but then <clears throat> would you make one block out of the planes and one block out of the linears, or how would you work it? You could you... mix it, couldn't you? You could have, like, but the orange... That your blocks the... would be different, though, wouldn't Your orange of your linears. They're similar shades, though, aren't yeah. they? You could mix your linear with, Keep your... with the other one. Sorry. No, don't Can't talk and, and not and so yeah. at the same time. I, when I went into theatre with this great big banner on the wall, it said, talk and so. I know. Never assume and talk and so. They were our two mantras. Are there any... Oh, I'm going to ask you to talk now and so. A, a lot of people saying they're doing this as their first um, quilt. Are there any tips? or anything people should look out for, because it really is just straight lines, isn't it? It is straight lines. I think keeping a consistent quarter-inch seam. Yeah. Um, the little tip about pressing your seams... Oh, yeah, yeah. ..like I have, helps with matching up your, your seam lines. Little dog hairs. Oh, that's nice. You got a dog? Yeah. You've got a gorgeous little collie cross called Daisy. She's absolutely mad. Well, there's a surprise. She's, um, I think she's crossed with a spaniel, which is not a good combination. Oh, is it not? Not really. Are they all not both... with a collie and a spaniel Are in they both one a dog. Bit high maintenance. Yes. Oh dear. Well, they're both working dogs, aren't they? Collies and spaniels, and I just think spaniel, a working dog. I thought yeah. it was posh people. Gwendolyn, Hannah, it's from the Bonderweb man, from Wendy. You know, Hannah's totally in love with Roger. It's not Bonderweb, it's Stitch and Tear, Stitch and Tear man. Also, you went for me now. Oh, it wouldn't that be lovely if it was from the Stitch and Tear man? No, no, I think, isn't there something we call your husband? There is something we call your husband, isn't there? No, not Roger, there's another, another like a real person. So we're going to sew that last strip to the, to the end, and then we'll sew the two pieces Yeah, and together. then we can start putting it, because you've got a block over there you already made. Yeah, well, we can show you the different combinations, because you don't have to do it, trip around the world. As we saw with that other lady's quilt, you can get all sorts of different effects going on. Yeah. The colours are beautiful, aren't they? Look at all those look. Oh, these, this is the, the bundle that Jane used, right? You've got all those colours, plus you get indigo in the um, linear. Oh, yes, because we've got to talk about how you did the, bo the bo border as well, haven't we? Thank 
you. So, um, I actually made two. Oh, wow. Two blocks, because the second block... Does that go there? Yeah. yeah. The second block, I've only done... Hold on. Not that one. Well, what did you say? The second block, I've only done nine, because... If you can see, I've started with the red on that one. Yeah. I started with the orange. Right. So that when I put them, I'll just move that over there. When I put them together, I've yeah. just got that red in oh, the middle. Oh, yes. Because otherwise, if we did... The red. The red, you'd yeah, end with up a... with oh. a, big, a big square in the middle. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. What's that? Are you caught... It's a bobbin. <laughs> And so hang on, so we'll put that one on there like that. And then Oh but now hang on. Which one's this one got here? This is a this is a nine. And what's this one? That's a ten as well. So ten. should I take no. one of these off? <coughs> well, I just wanted to show Oh yeah, no, I won't take one we off. Can. Pauline, do I get free threads added to my bundle automatically? Oh! Oh this here. If you're a new customer, Pauline, you only get these if you're a new customer. But you will get them. So instead of the sewing kit or the scissors, for today, it's only today, it's only today now, if you're a brand new customer and you buy either of these bundles, you get these for free. They just come automatically if you're a new customer. So... What you would do if you were going to do the trip around the world yeah. is you would do two nines <coughs> and two tens. Oh, OK. Um, but what you need to have is another strip along the top here to carry it through if you want to. You don't have to, but I wanted to have the red square at the top. Right. If you can see it. So I, I did another strip. So oh, OK, OK, OK. In Got effect, it. I made that one 11 and that one 10. Yeah. Um, so that works. That lady that did it um, with a cross, because you can do, put them together. Oh, oh, wow, look at this. What we would do for the traditional trip around the world, yeah, no. we've got that <laughs> middle square. Yeah. And then we'd add doesn't quite work because we've got that extra one. So you, you so, so on a that yes, okay. That's the traditional. No, right, it's not but quite, that's not quite right. No, because you've moved. That's it. But you need another strip here. Then. Yes, you would. You'd yeah. put another. That would be a. Yeah. So a that's ten. if you want the little square in the middle. But if you made them all the same as that one, you'd, you'd end, end up, up with, with a big. big obviously, that would be that and would you'd be have red. A, a rectangle going. Round it. Right. What's, now, which way did the lady do them then? In the in the so, that, oh, I see, like this. You take the, the two. Go on. The, mm -hmm. That's out to me now for messing you about. It's okay. So, oh. if you have that one that way. That's it. Yeah. And then. How that, many? Oh, we've got two minutes left. Yeah. Sorry, I've got this the wrong way. That way. There you go. That way. No, that's not No, right. no, because you need the pink going down there, 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 there. That's it. Ooh. You'd need the red in the middle. Yeah. That's it. So like that. Right, Jane, I've got to leave you. Thank you, that's brilliant. But you, can, go on. you can also get it just going in diagonal stripes. Oh, here we go. Oh. Jane, you're brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Jane's back in an hour to do that lovely cushion we showed you. Right, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. The bundle she's used. Right, there are more people got this one in their baskets than there are actually bundles, so if you want it, check out. You need to check out. Not everybody who's got that in their basket will get it. 59.99, seven metres of fabric, wadding and thread. Then this one is the jewel. These are all linear. These are all linear prints, these. 10 colours plus your uh, ebony plus your thread, plus your um, wadding, £77.49. 
And then, of course, the Stripology ruler, which is absolutely flying out, back in stock for the first time, or for the next time. We sold out, we've got it back in stock now. You get the instructions. And the ruler, 44 pounds and 99 pence, making it quicker and easier. Goes in uh, half increments and one inch increments, but also you can make it into three quarter inch increments as well if you wanted to. 44 pounds, loads of you got that. Right, don't go anywhere, because we've got Deborah Sims coming up next. It's her first show. It's her very first show here at Sewing Quarter. You'll know her. You'll know her from um, Great Great British Sewing Bee. Also, before we see Deborah, and straight after the nine o'clock break, it's nine o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, nine o'clock break. We've got this Christmas so special auction, haven't we? That's coming up the minute we come back from the break. Um, so don't go anywhere, or you can all get, your, get yourself a quick cup of tea because you want to be back for the auction because it's one of my favourite, favourite items to sell. And uh, we got it at a really, really, really fantastic price. So don't go anywhere. There'll be me, there'll be the so spe festive so special, and there'll be Deborah. All of that in three minutes' time. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Shop with us this Sunday and Monday and you'll receive a free thread pack worth $8.99 with your first order over £10. To thank you for your first sewing quarter purchase, we'll include this pack of seven Gutterman sew wool threads designed to match the Fenton House fabric range. It includes beautiful jewel tones on 100 meter spools. Made from 100% polyester, this strong thread is great quality, colour fast and guaranteed not free. It's ideal for both machine and hand sewing. So shop now at www.sewingquarter.com and claim your free threads when you spend just £10. Hi, I'm Paul Clark, and here are my three top tips for dressmaking. My first top tip is the way I pin fabric. I always pin parallel to the edge of the fabric, so it gives me a visible sewing line when I'm stitching. My second top tip is pinning a garment together and then trying it on before you do actually do any sewing. That way you can make sure if there's any fit adjustments you need to make. My third top tip is when sewing a curve, such as an, an underarm seam, Sew it first, then trim it as close as you can to that original sewing and it will stop any puckering underneath the arms. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Join us for some festive fun on Wednesday the 6th of December for these adorable new reindeer toys from star designer Joe Carter. Featured in the current issue of Simply Sewing magazine, our brand new kit includes enough materials to make both Rudolph and his reindeer friend, along with Joe's expert instructions. They'll make the perfect Christmas gift for children in your family and for big kids too. So don't miss Joe Carter's brilliant show at 10 a.m. on Wednesday only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Yes, it's day four of our festive so special. If you don't know what this is, if uh, something, it's only 12 days of Christmas, there's only 12 days of Christmas. What we do is inside this lovely bundle of goodies here, there is a special deal. Now it might be a premiere, like on Mon uh, the first day we did it, we had Liberty sewing boxes. Um, yesterday we had a gorgeous Alice Caroline bag, which was um, uh, more affordable than it's ever been before. 
Today in here, we have got, if you watch me regularly, you'll know I love this. Um, for the workroom, I absolutely love this. I go on and on about it, sells out. On and on about it, sells out. On and on and on about it, sells out. Today, I'm going to go on and on about it, and it will sell out, but it's a lower price than it's ever been before. I know you can't. I'll, I'll just get it out. I'll just get it out. Well, I'll give you a clue, right? You get this. Right, and it's not Jay Speedos when he goes swimming. You get this. And this is today's special. We love, well, I absolutely adore it. But look at the price. Watch the price. Watch the price. Watch the price. Oh, now. Oh, now. I think, well, I'm not going to say anything, right? In prep, I was told it was five pounds off, right? 10 pounds off the price. Now, I'm not doing, I'm not doing a shopping telly, what's it? I'm not doing a, <gasps> you know, a Vicky Burton. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that at all. I'm just saying, I was told in prep it was 34.99. So to, now, there's not going to be enough. There's not going to be enough of these. Because it sells out at 39.99 on a normal day. This, now, also, this is for today only or while stocks last. I think it's going to sell out now. That, that's how it will arrive at your house. Right? Let me just tell you all about it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. For and for 29 99 So it's a steam iron. It's a steam iron, right? So you see here, you've got a little rubber stopper. You put your water in there. Um, also, little windows at the side here. Oops, sorry, I'll get that stopper back in. Little wind... Oh. Go in. There you go. Little windows at the side here to show you how much um, water you got in there. Look, looks like a little love heart, but that's a steam, steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. You've also got the, like on a, on a big iron, you've got the dial here for the temperature. Oh, pardon? Half the stock's gone already. I told, the thing is, when I bring this to you on a normal day, it sells out. Right, now, you've got to remember, just putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee that you get it. Does not guarantee... That, it's only guaranteed if you've rung the call centre or you've checked out your basket. It's not guaranteed if you just put it in your basket. There's so many of you put it in your basket. OK, let me carry on. So, little red light here, which, like on a normal hand, goes, it's red, but it goes off when it's ready. Now, you look here. That's my impression of the steam coming out those four little holes. It's quite powerful as well, just so you know. Really, really lovely flat surface here. Look at this, look at this, look at the length of this cord. It's a two metre cord on there, so it's lovely. So if you're in a workroom and your plug's over there and you just want it on the corner of your desk with your ironing, that ironing mat there, it's brilliant. It's got a little, cl um, uh, cl uh, not clasp, what's it here, a little hook here that you can put the wire in. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, the most important thing is it's got weight. I've done, a sh I've done one of my shirts with this. They're, they're, they're a really, really good iron. It's not a gimmick. It's a really, really good iron. It's got weight to it, but what I love is look how you hold it, right? It's not on, don't worry. It's not so sharp. Look how you hold it. You've just got this lovely... Uh... OK, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because there's more people now got it in their basket. Right now, this is supposed to last 10 minutes, this auction. I've only been doing it for two and a half minutes. And that there's more people got it in their baskets than we've got stock of. They'll, right, at the moment, there's going to be 30 of you disappointed, apparently. That's how many people... All right, anyway, I'm going to go on. But what, what I'm going to say, if you've got dexterity problems, lots of my ladies have messaged in saying, oh, I've got dexterity problems, and this iron is brilliant to use. Anyway. Right, now there are now 50 people going to be disappointed, so you need to check out immediately. You need, there were loads, but you need to check out immediately. So let's go and meet Deborah early, shall we? Uh, Deborah, now have a look what, she's, what, look what she's making. Have a look at what she's making. Uh, you'll know her from the Great British Sewing Bee. She used to have pink hair, I think. Was it pink or was it orange? Uh, it was a funny colour, anyway. There's the dress that she's making. Right, I'm just going to plug this iron in, because we need to use the iron. Oh, hang on, I'll make sure it's switched up. Right. 
Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. To the Sand Quarter family. This is Deborah Sims, as I say. Now, you did have, when, when you, you had coloured, funny coloured hair. Yes, it was ready orangey. But then also, when I saw you at the Great British Zone Be Live, it was a slightly different colour then, I yes, think, wasn't it? Yes, I think there was some green in yes. it then as well. So. And now it's blonde. Oh, um, is that blonde? Is well, it? this is, this is grey. Okay. Obviously, this is a natural. Oh, you've not done like no, trendy no, kids No, too. no, just, just the blonde at the bottom. The rest of it's just my natural. I like it. Shade coming through. I like yeah, it. thank you very much. I'm just seeing how it looks. I thought I'd let him, nice. let, let it grow out and see what happens yeah. basically. But oh yeah. no, look. Re uh, so, so if that all grows down, that'll look yeah. really, really yeah. stylish, yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Very Take a while. But, you know. Yeah, that's the problem. Right. So which, which series were you on? Which? Um... I was on series three with Paul, who oh, with... I know works on the program as well. Of course. So... Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. We just saw Paul in the advert. Then he had yeah. his favourite top tips and everything. So this this book that we've got in the, that we're doing your projects yes. from are actually from the series. Yeah, this is the series I was in. There I am with my well, hair. There's your hair. There's mostly my hair. Yeah, there's not many. There's not much of my face in that picture, but I promise it is me. Now, um, this, this book was put together by CL. Yes, I keep I call right. her CJ for some reason. No, who yeah. was, uh, was she a producer on the show or she something? She does like? all the behind the scenes sewing. So she prepares the patterns. She sort of talks you through things. She can, she can only give you so much help, obviously. But yes, of course. If help should be given, CL's the one to get okay. it. Okay, now the first time I met her, she was wearing this. She was wearing this from the book. It's, it's um, this. It's what we're making, isn't it? Yeah. So the one we're making today is this there blue is, there version, is. Um, and then the stripy one has sleeves and a bit of a cuff at the bottom. Oh yes, that's what. So it it's was, kind yeah. of like a. They call it a hack, but basically it's very similar. A variation. With a slight variation. Okay, so that's the, the the dress. Is it a dress or a top? Would you call it a dress or a top? Well, on me, yes. as a, a smaller a person, it's a, it's a <laughs> knee leg. <laughs> uh, but for someone who's a little bit taller, you could probably be, it's more like a tunic yeah, dress Yeah, leggings top. and jeansy things. Yeah. But then it's also got that lovely swag cardigan over the top yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. Which is yeah. also in the book. Yeah. So I'll just tell you quickly, there it is, there it is. Now it's called a three hour, it's called a three hour slouchy cardigan. That's right, yeah. All the details there and everything in the book. So now, let me just tell you, in the book, you also get this, which has got all the, the life size, actual size patterns. Actual size patterns, in it, patterns yeah, all no the printing projects necessary. in the book. It's a brilliant, brilliant buy at 20. So you get the book with all the instructions and all the pictures and everything like that, and this little pack here with all the patterns in. Right, okay, so the two different items are these. There's the top. Now it's lovely because it's got that funny cross. Obviously, you don't get the necklace. The necklace is the mod, uh, not model zone, the mannequin zone. <laughs> it's got that lovely crisscross top. It looks very, yeah, very complicated. Yeah, it's, well, it's, I think it's from the avant garde challenge from the actual sewing bee program. And actually, what they've done is, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, we'll do that. Three and then you'll just show the cardigan that goes with it on its own as well. You see, it's got a slap. Oh, that's gorgeous. That look yeah. lovely jeans and a blouse really and everything, wouldn't it? So you don't well. have to wear them together, do you? No, yeah, not at all. But they do go really well together as one outfit. Which okay, really so nice. let's start. So you start off by getting the pattern. Yes. Because in here, all the, all the patterns. Yes. But obviously, you can't cut them out. No, from they're here because they're all crossing over each other. Yes. But they are color code, color coded, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Okay. But and what all you have the different do is, sizes as well. Yeah. So what you need to do is, is say, if you were doing the leather jacket, yeah. the leather jacket is red, therefore. Cut oh, out so, all the red bits. But it also says leather jacket sleeve, yeah. leather jacket side front, yeah, exactly. leather jacket front. I yeah. just pulled, that was the first one I pulled out. Mm -hmm. So if you pull out your, I'm not going to find it out, but the patterns yeah. for that top. Yes, so what we've got here is the three main front pieces. And you can see they are very unusual shapes. They're okay, sort of hang on. Triangles. So the front is made, ooh. Right. The front is made of three panels. Three it? panels, yeah. That's how you get that lovely... That triangle shape along the cross. Yes. Um, so what you do is you have to get this one and so, you just have to follow where it shows you on the diagram or make sure all your points are matching. So you've traced this in the size that you wanted it yes. from the pattern in the book Yes. and cut your own pattern out of your pattern cutting. Yeah, in the part. right say, size. But you've made all. sure you've copied absolutely everything. Yes. So like, it's, let me just put my glasses on so it's I can see what It's very small writing. Uh, grain line, stretch. Shorten or lengthen here, yep. at, very important, front, left. Yep. And then all these other lines that are on here, are they all for matching things up yeah. later on? Yeah, so they, you can see here on this one, there's a line that goes right across here. That's actually a really important there. marking. There's, this line here. This yeah. line here, yeah. it's really important because that, if you look on here... Let me bring the mannequin in yeah. for you so you can point at it. There yeah, 
is that's the fold. I'll just take this off because we're just talking about the dress. Yeah. And I'll take that off so we can have a good look. Right. So, yeah, can you see that actually the pieces go together oh, flat like that? Yes. And then when you make the neckline, you fold it over that line. So that line yeah, is really important. So that's the fold yes. of that line. Yeah, and that creates the neckline. But there's not, but there's not one on the other side. No. No, it's just one side. So you have to get your left and your right, the exactly right way around, right. otherwise okay, you get perfect. it perfect. all over the show. So, okay, right. Yeah, so you want to make sure all your dots and everything are matching. Yeah. And you can see that if I lay this like that, this is why it's jersey. Because yes. if you had a stable material, you would really struggle to yes. get it to move around. What's that sticky out bit at the bottom there, then? This bit. That bit. This bit here. No, no hang on, I've lost it now. I've lost sort of... it. This bit here? Yeah, that's that, your that pocket. Oh, that, oh, so the pockets are all included Yeah, they're in... all inside it, so that's the front of the pattern. Oh, yeah. now the girls love pockets I there, love don't they? love a pocket, they? absolutely love a pocket, yeah. All clothes should come with pockets. Yes, but isn't that, fan what a fantastic design. Isn't it fantastic? And any dress size yeah. is going to look amazing in this, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be really flattering on lots of people. That will be my next question, is what size does the pattern go up to in the book? You might not yes, know the answer. Yes, it goes anyway. up to extra large. Right. And I've done a large, oh, okay. which is a 16 to 18. Oh, so an extra large would be like 18 to 20 then? Yes, oh, so it's quite a good size. Yes. And actually what I would say is um, the, the thing that they do in the book, which is really nice, I'll get it out for you, is that instead of having all the different kinds of measurements, they only provide the finished measurements, right. which is the bit here. So that's really nice for people because it means that you know exactly what size it's going to be when it's oh, done. Oh, yes, because otherwise they go, it's a size 18. Are you, who's an 18? Who's yeah, a 16? Who who's a 12? Yeah, yeah and exactly. actually, just, you're better just ignoring them completely and just following these. What right. you'll find is that you, the thing you want to make sure of is the hip size. Right. Because that's actually quite close to your body. Right. The rest of it, they're massive, because obviously this is yes. huge on most people. So the, I would say that that is the, the hip so the is really important So the most important thing bit. is, the, yes, the hip thing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. O also, it depends, it also depends on your body shape. So if you're yes. hair shaped, yes. that, then that's where you carry your All extras of, yeah. on your hip, just to make sure. How much fabric would it take to make an, an uh, you, you've done the large yes. here. Do you know how much fabric it would take to do the large? I did, it's taken me two meters to make oh, this. Oh, okay, so it's, it's not, nice wide, it's yeah, nice, nice wide fabric. So it doesn't take actually that much fabric. It's just making sure, this one recommends 2.1 meters. Oh, okay. And I did just make it. So if you're doing an extra large, you will need the 2.1 yeah, meters. Yeah, definitely, well, yeah. You'd have to buy two and a half, obviously, because we do them in the half meter. Yeah, but actually, I would say that it's worth buying a little bit extra just for safety, to yeah. be honest, because you never know. Yeah. Um, okay, we've got, we've got some fabric coming up. That's the grey, but I'll show you that. in. I've got the three different colourways today, but we'll just yes, carry on so with we'll this. so carry on this. I'll show yeah. you now. Have a bit of a blue Peter moment for oh, you. Oh, yes. You've got one half done, have you? Half done. So what we've got is that left piece. Uh, right, I've just got to ask a question. Right? <laughs> You've spotted me, haven't you? You've only got one shoe I've on. I've only got one shoe on, yes, because I, can, I can't use a sewing pedal without with my shoe on. You know, like if you're in the car and you only have one pair of shoes that you can... Drive in. Yeah, it's like the pressure. I need to know I'm going to get you're it right. Mad, aren't you? Yeah, I am a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, now they've given you the black to, yes. um, to, to the sample. Yes. I hope so, you can see this then. There we go. The, that way, if I put it in exactly the way that we had it before, right. so you can see here, you have to put the pocket piece on to the back part first. Right. Yeah. So, so only one one had the pocket piece on, yeah, and then so another one is one that add on. But we add on the yeah. other side. All these instructions are in here, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. They're all in there. So then you just have to match up along that line all the way down here. Right. And round and okay, across. now I've got a, an important question, which I know a lot of ladies who ha aren't used to using, because New Jersey is new to us here at Sewing Quarter. Yes. Uh, what are your tips about sewing, sewing it? it how, you sew, how do you sew jersey? Okay, first things first, it's all about the different elements of your machine. Right. Um, so this is quite a heavy jersey. Ponty yeah. roll is quite heavy. So what you want is like a, a medium weight needle. Right. So what I've gone for... I've do you need a jersey here. needle? You do need a jersey needle. A jersey or a ballpoint. Yes. And I'll explain. Basically, the difference is, on a normal sewing needle, you have a very sharp end that goes right through the fabric fibres. Yes. With jersey, because you want it to stretch, 
you want the needle to go around the fibers right, and not splice break, through yes. them. So what you have with a jersey and a ballpoint is it's slightly blunted at the end, so it goes around those fibers oh, rather okay. than through. So that's why you need your jersey needle. And uh, are the jersey needles, are they different? Yeah, like a normal sewing machine, they're different sizes again. Yes. Yeah, I'm so just, you, I'm just, yeah, hang on. you have uh, between a 70 and a 90. Yeah. And I've used an 80 because it's, it's not okay. very heavy. No, no, but the 12, that's a 12, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 12, yeah. Uh, yeah, now, the, the, the other question is, mm -hmm. is that somebody just emailed in saying they always thought they needed an overlocker to sew jersey. Yes, this is what I wanted to do today. I really wanted to make sure I used the sewing machine because I want to prove it, you don't have to have an overlocker yes. to work with jersey at all. All you need <coughs> is your zigzag stitch on your machine, yes. um, setting it right, jersey needle, and what I've got in here is the walking foot. Now, I've not seen a walking foot used on jersey before. The great thing about it is I, I'm sure that you've used it before and you know that it pulls the fabric in at the same time. The problem that happens when you're working with jersey, because it's stretchy, if, if you're not pulling both at the same time, the top layer stretches and the bottom layer doesn't. Right. So you end up with like distorted seams. Oh, and yes. And that's why you end up with all sorts of problems. And that's why you end up with a, a... Things and the what's threads that everywhere. Like a, um, when you see the seam and it's kind of going, it's not sitting flat, it's yes. kind of ruffled. Loop or, yes, loops yes. up, yeah, yeah, it's a nightmare. It's what I call it. <laughs> okay, so we've, so we've got... A zigzag, a machine that does zigzag. A machine that does zigzag. Ideally one that's got a walking foot. Yep. And your jersey or ballpoint needle. Yes. What size stitch do you use? Next. Okay, so, so you're going to so... start with a zigzag stitch? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're so... old school like me, see. Yeah. When my first, one of my first jobs from college was, I, there was a lady called Diana who used to do all the uh, costumes for cats and things mm -hmm. like that, which was obviously wow. all like We only had the zigzag stitch and we stitch. So when you see people now with these modern fangled machines yeah. thing that don't have... But I think it's brilliant that you're showing us how to do that as well. So I'll let you carry on. No problem at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to zigzag. <coughs> yeah. I'm going to go down to a half on the width of the zigzag. Oh, so it's very, very shallow Very zigzag, shallow yeah. zigzag and actually quite long. So uh... about three. So actually, when you see it, you can't really tell that, that it's, it's much zigzag. of a zigzag at all. I don't know if you can see on the black. You won't be able to see on the black. No, I but it just it. gives that little bit of extra give. Well, also, there. also if you did a normal straight stitch on mm -hmm. a jersey, the minute you did that on the seam, you'd hear crack, 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 wouldn't you? Whereas yeah. it, when you've got a very, very slight zigzag, mm -hmm. the zigzag will go with... You don't want it to be... Stretch no, you don't need it to be very no, stretchy. No, but it's going to go with, the, especially yeah. when, when it's on the full-on bias or whatever, it's going to be really stretchy. Yeah, exactly. That. And that's the whole point of this, of this pattern as well, is that it hangs properly, so the yes. bias is a really important aspect of that. Okay, now, um, the finish on jersey, because obviously yes. using cotton, things like that, they fray away and everything. Like yeah. that. You're looking all like, oh, God, what's going to ask me now? <laughs> um, you don't really need to finish the edges of jersey, do you? No. Not at all. No, especially this bunch of thing. Yeah. yeah, especially this because the way that it's woven, there's there's no loose fibres. No. So it just it's just fine as it is as a straight edge. Exactly. So an overlocker makes it look like a professional finish, but yeah. you don't need an overlocker no. because the jersey's not going to fray anyway. No, and I think most people aren't going to be looking at the inside of your garments. Well, so probably. But what just kind of party case. you go to? But yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. Okay, right. So you can. Yes. Yeah, so what's what next? I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the the moment of actually having these work as one front piece. So what you want to do is make sure your pockets line up. As long as your pocket lines up. You what are your right safety around. pins all for? Well, this is another little trick I wanted to tell you. Because... If I'm jumping, if I'm jumping ahead, tell oh, me to shut no, up. Oh, no, it's fine. You carry on. Um, basically, they are my markings. Oh, so then you're on the pattern, you have circles and yeah, crosses. Yeah, circles and, and dots like and crosses. Rather than having a little bit of chalk that's going to rub off on the journey yes, over, yeah. or a little bit of thread, which I find always falls out or yeah. annoys me, Table and then I have to take yeah. them all out again, I just use a little safety pin as a marker. Oh. The, only, the only thing that would throw me mm. is I'd be like, oh, now which safety pin goes? Because you're matching <laughs> safety pin to safety pin, aren't yes, you? Yes, which yeah. safety pin goes to which safety pin, yeah. yeah. But as you say, as long as you match, did you just say as long as you match your pocket yeah. on this bit? Yeah, pockets, ends... Top, yeah, and with this one, because there's there's kind of angles, you make sure your angles are right as well. Right. But other than that, okay. Because most of the time, these things are the, that's what's actually marked on is those edges. It's just knowing where those are. So yes. For someone who's more practiced, it's a little bit easier, but it just creates a little bit of yeah. steadiness. So what I'm going to do, just going to pin them those important places. Right. So we don't get it wrong. Match that. <laughs> I did tell them to provide me with an unpicker just in case, because oh. you never know. No, mine's gone actually. <gasps> I had one here in oh, no. gone. Oh well. I won't Not hide it from you. It. Yes, of course. 
Well, the thing is, everybody needs a non picker every now and again. Oh, oh, no, it was my best friend when I was. Yeah. Um, uh, so how did you how did you get into sewing? Did you did you go to college? Did you train to do it? Have never trained <gasps> to do it. No, it's just what I did at home basically. So what I've done is um, when I was at when I was really small, I was like primary school probably oh, and we yeah. did bits really and little. pieces really little really little bits of pa pieces with my family so my mum oh not at school then when you were at no, home no not at school just when <laughs> I was at home with my family um, so we did bits and pieces like that I, was, yeah. I always thought I was really rubbish because I was two years younger than my sister and she she was always really good oh. so <laughs> yeah, I had a big brother like that yeah brilliant everything. yeah brilliant everything so then I kind of thought I wasn't very good at it but at least I knew how to use a sewing machine at two no. Oh, no, she was two years older than you. Yeah, no, not yeah. two. About, probably about seven. Okay. Something like that. I mean, obviously, you need a lot of guidance. Well, no, no, because um, Jo Carter, who's one of our, she does all the animals and everything oh, like that. Oh, yeah. Um, her two boys are, and they're about that age, are yeah. fascinated. They like it because it's a machine which yeah. is slightly dangerous, but it means that they've learned how to use it. because it's, it's so it's, you good. Know, yeah. And actually, what's really nice is that I think my mum sort of said to me um, afterwards, after the sewing bee and things, I thought you weren't that interested in sewing because when I did it, when I was really little, I didn't really enjoy it as much because it was difficult. Yes, yes, yes. But actually, in learning and learning that early on, when I did figure out that I wanted something, I knew that I could use a sewing machine yes. and that kind of is enough of an impetus really to give so you that. So how did you get onto sewing? I don't know how the process works, but how did you get onto sewing? Did you well, apply? yes, so it was my dad's fault basically. Okay. He just kept calling me up every day and asking me if I'd applied yet and I'd say, not, not yet, no, not yet, Dad. Because you always um, think that always happens to other people, it never yeah, happens to exactly. me. Exactly, yeah. yeah, so I kind of, I thought, oh well, you know, I will do it, I will do it. And then I did and they rang me back pretty much a couple of days later oh. um, and there's a few different layers of of things you have to do phone calls they ask you questions about what kind of hems things are you know they kind of yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. that you aren't you know, lying yes um, <laughs> basically <laughs> and then we had a big long chat about how we're going to sew in and my wedding dress and things like that okay so, no, don't tell me you made your wedding dress yes yeah that was the first thing that made me get more into dressmaking because that's what um Jennifer Taylor, who's also a yeah. sewing she started off doing her wedding dress. Yeah, it's well. a really, really weird thing to start with. But it's with, one of the most important dresses in your whole life. Yeah, so you, you might as well it. make it. Yeah, it's oh, your first project. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll get back to your history yeah. in a second. So, so you pinned, pinned all of that. Yeah, there. and all the important places. And you can see here that actually it doesn't lie flat, which feels very wrong. Yes. But that's because of the way that it twists and turns. You just have to go with it and, and make it. But as it long as your edge is a match and you yeah. pinned your seam allowance, you don't let any of the puckers or any of the fullness come into your seam allowance. Yeah. Don't worry that it's doing this. Doing this. As long as you don't have any, like, yeah, like you say, puckers, yeah. that's the main Tucks thing. Tucks as well. Don't yeah, actually, just taking your time and making sure that the piece that you're doing is flat, it'll be absolutely OK, fine. now the next question is, you've got pins in. Are yes. you a sew-over-pin so girl or are you...? I take them out every time, kind okay. of out. Yeah, I think... I think I think it's um, some, something of a generational thing. My mum definitely went over the pins. You calling me old? No. Yes. <laughs> no, not really. I just think um, I think it just came in a bit later, didn't it? Health and safety yeah. and all that. Anyway, yes. so you pinned it. Yeah, pinned it. Now I'm going to stitch it. Yeah. You ready? You can do live stitching on live, live stitching on live TV with one foot off, with one with shoe one off. With one shoe off, yeah. Well, you've got to be classy when you do these things with your one shoe on and one shoe off. Right, make sure it's all lined up very nice. And what nice size seam allowance is on it? Five eighths. Okay. So you've got loads of room to play with as well. So if you do well, have... Well, that's a typical dressmaking. Five eighths is a typical yeah. dressmaking. Because um, these quilters, they only use quarter of an inch. And when I first came to work here, I was like, <gasps> quarter, quarter There's an inch. not a lot of extra in there. Yeah, what's nice about that is that if, if it doesn't quite fit, or if you're a little bit nervous about it fitting, just do a really loose stitch. And then you can go and into those seam allowances pick. to... Yeah. <coughs> right, so okay. can I we'll move this forward slightly? Yeah, go on. Thank you. Perfect. Also, the other thing is, is in real life, you wouldn't stitch standing up, would you? No, not usually. I have done it before when I'm doing curtains. You know, you put the ironing board up and put the sewing machine on the ironing board and then do the hem because you can't bother getting it off the pole. What? So the, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just stop. So the curtains are attached to the window. Yeah. You're hemming that, because Jay, you know Jay just came in and goes filling in today on floor. Yeah. Um, he's, he and Danny, his girlfriend, who just moved into a house, and they, yeah. they brought, sent me photos of that, oh, these curtains need, they've hung them and everything, these yeah. curtains need shortening, and I'm like, oof, you have to take those down, they're all the way to me. Yeah. So you put the ironing board put next the ironing to the board, window, yeah. 
with the sewing machine on it. Yeah. Now, I don't recommend this at this home. This is not good for health and safety, no. no. Okay. It's definitely a falling over job, but um, if you're willing to take it on. So now, where are you stitching? I'm stitching right up to about five eighths of an inch. Right. From the edge of the pocket, so yep. at a corner. Got it, got it, got it. And then and we're going to turn down, it. pivot. Yeah. Turn it all the way around, so you've got another five eighths. Now, I'm doing that by eye, but you can definitely just draw that yeah. onto the, it's all on your pattern piece. Just, because it's stretchy, if it doesn't seem to be quite meeting, just stretch them into the right position. Yeah. Don't stretch it beyond, if, if, if you're it needing to stretch wrong. it, really stretch it, then there's something wrong. Yes. But ju <coughs> just to get it to go round the curve, you just yeah. need to ease it round. Yeah, and that's what's great actually is with this material, because it's so stable, if you're doing like a, 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 a shoulder seam, it's an absolute breeze yes. in comparison to a woven fabric. Okay. You know, we don't see much of this black on black at home, I'm afraid, but... Uh... <laughs> it's not the best, is it? But it does look very glamorous, so it depends on what, whether you want something to look... It's really soft as well. Oh. <laughs> I just don't want because I don't want it to fall because it'll, fall and then it'll pull drag it, it all yeah. out, won't it? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, I think what's great about this is that it's really good for like Christmas do's, but also, you know, like Christmas dinner. Because you've got your pockets and your Christmas dinner, what's so you eat your turkey dinner? And a bit yeah. of turkey dinner and um, Elsie Sue, at last some dressmaking. Love to see Deborah. Congratulations on your debut programme. Oh, thank you very much. That's, That's very nice kind. Nice name, Elsie Sue, isn't it? Michelle's also messaged in. It'll come through in a second, Michelle. There it is. Good morning, John and Debs. Welcome to the Sand Quarter family. Love from Shelley in Lincolnshire. Oh, hello. She thank you. She's there. Not, she's not in no, there. No, she's not in there. She's there. <laughs> hello. Um, <laughs> Shelley in Lincolnshire, her. I don't know if it's her husband or boyfriend, Clint yeah. has built her a she shed <gasps> in the garden. I love just she for sewing. Shed. Just for sewing. But it's like a log cabin. It looks like it should be on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Oh my like word. That. It's amazing. So it's jealous. Fantastic. That sounds fantastic. Well, now, have you got a sewing room? Are you lucky enough to have a sewing room? I am very lucky in that I have a sewing room, yes. And actually, it's, it's amazing how much of a difference it makes because with having a little girl, I found it really difficult because she's got, she's so small, little hands, pins everywhere, and scissors. You have to put everything away at the end of oh, the day. Oh, now we can just shut the door. And you can just shut the door and, and actually come back to it the next day and it doesn't matter too much. Oh. I had these in our old house. I had bags and bags of just half-finished projects because I'd put them away at the end of the day and then I'd just never get them away. No, out. exactly. Once they're put away, that's it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So it is, it is helpful, but obviously not everyone can have it. So. How old's your little girl then? Two and a half, oh, really. Oh, yeah. that age where they're wandering around picking everything Picking up. everything up and wondering what you're doing. And we have, ma we have managed to do a little bit of sewing, hand sewing, yeah. where it was like an embroidery and she like pulled the needle out for me and then I took it off her and put it back in. And was she? She was good with it. She's okay. really patient, really good, yeah. Obviously, it was very much a joint effort, but nah. it depends on, it really depends on the temperament of your child as yes. well, to be honest. And the day. <laughs> and neither they've had any lunch and, you know, all yeah. those things. Right, so, okay. this is the moment. That is the front of your dress. So it doesn't look like no. it should be. And then suddenly... So, hang have... on, so, hang on. So, on the flat there, you've got that seam... You've got your two pockets. That, there's a pocket, there's a pocket and, and there's, there's a, a pocket. pocket. So yeah. that's that and that. Yeah. One of them is going to be that seam going up there. Yep. And then the other one will is that seam hidden underneath yep. there. And you can just start to see. <coughs> you can see how on this one, there's a smooth one circle. Yes. This one, there's a little up yes. and then across. Yep. That's where your pleat goes. Oh, fantastic. So that's going to go across here. Like that. Oh, and of course your safety pin is your point so of... the point of... of, of uh, that's turning. a very clever pattern, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? I love it. It's great. So now these patterns in this book... Yes. Are they by the people who are on the Great British Sewing Bee, or are they patterns that were set that they would have been set so for you? certain ones... So because this one was a setted challenge, but I'd left by this point. This was quite oh, okay. far on. You've um, chosen to leave, yes. Yeah, cho I cho chose yes. to leave, of course, yes. Because Paul, because Paul got thrown off. You know Paul <laughs> comes here, right? <laughs> You went, oh, I'll come with I was you. Like, I'll come with you, Paul, yeah. <laughs> as a but sacrifice. You've, you've got one of these projects in here. Yeah. The, this one, you made this I one. I made that you? one on the show, yeah, the, the blue lace skirt, yeah. 
You see, so it's a mixture of, of different projects. Yeah, so there's things that people have uh, had made on the show, they made patterns of. So I know there's a Paul's elephant heads in there as oh, well. Oh, is it? That's a surprise. Um, elephant. He loves his elephants. Uh, well, yes, of course. The fancy dress costume. Yeah. This one, I think, was one of the challenges for the avant garde. There's some really good classic <laughs> things in there, though, like the, the yeah, that's that, which is fantastic. Um, and then there's sort of classic things like a men's, man's t shirt. Which oh, yeah, I think we just is passed really the man's t shirt. Find. Yes. Oh, yes, because Otherwise. people don't think that you're ever going to make them. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, if, if the men in your life are anything like mine, they're very fussy and they like very, they're like very particular. Yeah. So, actually, producer making Hannah. a T-shirt would be... Yeah, exactly. But producer Hannah, she likes that Roger, who's on the stitch and tear, and yeah. she loves him. And if we do this book, she loves him. <laughs> um, but how many patterns... Hang on, how many patterns are in there? Because if you think of the price of a pattern, £10, right? For one pattern. You've got patterns for all, and all sorts of things, all sorts of projects. And if you love the show, it's quite nice as well, isn't it, to that? Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Laurie says, morning, welcome, Deborah. Just want to say you're doing a really great demo. You seem so calm and organised. Oh, thank you very much. Really enjoying it. You're so sweet. Oh, they don't know you yet, mm -hmm. then, do they? <laughs> Have a great day. That's Laurie. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Laurie. Thank Lovely you. Too, That's me. very kind. No, That's I'm really nice. going to have a great day as well, Laurie. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you They you'll might be have right, said that afterwards. Yeah, it's yeah. just it just got cut off. Yeah. You only get so many lines in you. That's it. That's it. No, you yeah. do. In this one. Oh, in this one. Cheeky. <laughs> right, what are you doing next then? I'm just placing this uh, neckline along so that we get it perfectly across. There we go. So what you want to do as well, as you can see here, you know you've got this little bit of excess at the top. Yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. can see that. Can yeah. you see that? Um, ignore that. Don't try and match to the excess and then come back down. Oh, okay. What you want to do is match to the, they, to the <coughs> neckline. Excuse me, like dog ears of a yeah, seam. Yeah. So, so you it's, know, it's like quilting when, yeah. you, when you end up with dog ears in the corner. Don't match the dog ears. You're yeah, you seam. match into the actual yeah. seam there. So you just, I'm just going to pin so that. So now, the, uh, on the pattern, there was a line, wasn't there, where this fold yes. actually is. Can you, tack, excuse me, can you tack that line in if you yeah, want to? Yeah, so that you make... can see it on that side and that yes. make it a lot easier yeah. for you. I'm just matching it with the yes. pin, but you can do that. I've actually had it, I've put it on with um, oh, some yes. Taylor's chalk, yeah. just so you can I see. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah, you can see that, see that Taylor's yeah. chalk, um, just so that you can kind of make sure it's yeah. right. When, but if you, wanted, if you wanted to see it through onto this side, if you just did big, big, big tacking yeah. stitches. Dear John, Deborah is a perfect fit for Sewing Quarter and for you. Oh, lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her and more dressmaking programmes. Love to you both from Caroline in Leicestershire. Thank oh, you, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. What, you mean she answers back? Is that what you mean? Yes. On day one. Day normally, one. <laughs> normally what we say yeah. is when people do their first show, they're mm. all like very quiet, very polite, and don't say boo to goose. Now, when they've been here a few months, they're like, oh, shut up, John. <laughs> <laughs> you just Do you feel like I've gone straight to yeah. shut up, John? <laughs> Sorry, John. No, I don't. I love it. I love it. Right. Yes. Uh, now, um, I've got to do fabric and I've got to do... Because we've also got the cardigans, because obviously we're not making the whole thing. We're just doing techniques no. and everything. Yes, today. absolutely. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. What other techniques would you like to show on this? Or do you want to move on to Let's the cardigan? Let's double check. Check your list. Check I'll try and do fabrics while you check Yeah, you check, check that and I'll All do right, this. Yeah, you go and do that, John. Go and do your fabrics. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> oh, so I'm very, very sorry. Um, the book, I've got more water, thanks, Jam White. $21.99, it's fantastic. You get the book and you get the pamphlet of um, all the patterns in there. £21.99. Okay. And then the fabric, now the grey fabric, oh, the grey is selling really well. That's the one that's made in the background. Now look at the width of this fabric. That's why you need... So how much do you say for, for large? Two metres. Two metres, yeah. 2.1. On the dress on its own, for the dress on its own, two metres. But it's 3 99 for half a metre. It's 3 99 for half a metre. Now, it's a marl. It's got a definite two-tone in that one. So that's the grey. Now, the black that we're using for the demonstration... Oh, I don't need to open that. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous black jersey. I don't know why I was holding it out. It's black. It's, have a graphics got it? Yeah, three ninety nine for half a meter. Look, but that's half a meter. Look how much you get. You get loads, right? And then last but not least, now I th always think this looks really expensive. Almost like it's not cashmere, but it's like a cashmere colour, isn't it? The cam. I think they call this one camel. Really, really lovely tone. And imagine wearing that with your autumnal oranges and greens and things like that. $3.99 uh, for half a metre. Also, the Jersey Needles that I had over there, 
Uh, don't forget to get those as well if you haven't already got those for your machine. They do fit uh, most machines. And we're going to just put it in on it. There it is, £2.49. Now you get about five or six for that. Five or six for £2.49. Okay, let's get back, let's get back, let's get back. Right. Tip. Oh, yes. How could we forget that? Yes. When we brought this to you, oh, you're allowed to, if you open it, you pay for it. Woo! <laughs> it's home. When Amanda Wyatt, who also does our jersey dressmaking, when she first brought this out to use, it sold out within an instant. What is it and why is it so special? So it's bias tape, um, but it's, it's got a little bit of a thing on there and it's a just thing. a thing, a thread through it. Yeah. And it's used, I'm going to use it for stabilising the shoulders on this. They, and it's iron on, isn't it? It is, yeah. You iron it on to your, your shoulder seam because you know when you're using jersey, it has a tendency to, to sag, doesn't it? Especially on a shoulder seam because the weight of the whole dress is going to be hanging there. This has got a stitch line in it. If you iron it with that stitch line on your seam or where your seam's going to go, this is like a stabiliser. Even though it's bias, it's a stabiliser. So your shoulders aren't going to go, the shoulder seams aren't going to go anywhere. You get five metres of it, 6 99 Flies out, always flies out. There it is. Oh, that, that looks like Hannah on oh, no, there, doesn't it? Very glamorous. like yeah. it. Anyway. So, do you have the iron? Shall I just oh, stitch it on? Oh, yeah, try me, whatever it is. <laughs> Sorry, love. No, I said you can have it. Right. They thought I said whatever do to them. <laughs> We're not in San Diego now. Not today. Right, hang on, let me just make sure I'd this be up is for on. that. We could do it in San Diego if you wanted. Oh, I'll go there every yeah. summer. It's amazing. Really? And lovely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's on, it's on maximum, so um, I don't know if that's going to be too hot for you. Mm. Oh, sorry, I've hidden your tape. No, it's you. all right, don't worry. Oh, cracky, that's a huge shoulder seam. It is, yeah, which is why you need the stabilisation, really, because... Yes, of course, because it's, it's almost so like a dolman, much of it, isn't and it? And it drapes right off yes. the shoulder. So, yeah. actually, the longer it lasts, the more it would start to hang down. So, actually, it's quite, yeah. quite good to have that. And also, when, um, from my um, styling day, well, still style, but most ladies don't like the top of their arms. It's the one yeah. bit where you say, which bit do you want to hide most? Most ladies would top say the top of, of their arms. Yeah. And that's lovely because it's not long. No. But it's just gonna, you're going to feel comfortable in that, aren't you? Because it's just going to cover what you think is your, are your problem areas. Yes. Let me get this the right way around, that way around. I don't want to ruin your lovely iron. Better not do. There we go. So you literally just, you just uh, press it on, don't you, where you're going to yes. sew your seam allowance. Yeah. A bit finickety with it. There we go. You don't have to if they haven't too Perfect. Let's see if it... Yep. That looks like it's going to be fine. Well, just as well. Yeah. There's only a million people watching. <laughs> it's fine. They'll be fine. They don't mind. If I ruin it. There we go. Make sure this is on the wrong side of your fabric as yes. well. Yes. Because that would be another disaster. Yeah, that would be... A, well, you could make a design feature if it was on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> It's like those, those men that get suits that have the stay stitching in. Yeah. And, the one that, and they leave it in and they think it's part of the design. You're like, this needs what to come have you out. Done? Well, this is the thing. I was trying to coat actually recently. And you can't, um, it's quite difficult for someone with more hips than other areas. Yes. Um, it's quite difficult to try on a coat because actually you think it doesn't quite fit. Yeah. But actually, if you undo the well, you're going thread, to just, you're going I just kind of like yeah. unthreaded it because it's uh, not Gerardine, who's one of our regulars. Hello, John, and welcome, Deborah. Love the dress and jacket. Is there any chance we could buy the patterns without the book, please? No, Gerardine, I'm afraid not. It comes with the book. Yes. But if you think about it, Gerardine, you're getting all those patterns for, for was it £21.99, the book? Oh, yeah, it's on the bottom there. £21.99. If you don't want the book, you can always give it to somebody as a gift, couldn't you? Anyway. It's a very good idea. Yeah, exactly. If two patterns. So if you made the pa if, the, if we sold the pattern for the top and it's all yeah. back to the dress, that's your 20 pounds. It's all Done. 18 yeah. pounds. Right, now I've got to watch the time. So we've yes. got 20 minutes. Oh, all right, we all see right. see what else we've... Um, yeah, I think we should move on. Yeah, actually. OK, so all, all you do is you yeah. literally, when you wear your shoulder seam, you should just stitch along that tape and it's in the, this seam here, mm -hmm. so it doesn't actually let the seam drop at all. Okay. Um, all right, if you've got this in your basket, please check out your basket, please check out your basket. There it is, that one, The last thing I'll say about this pattern oh, yes. is there's lots of bulk 
Lots of? Bulk. Right. Which is what we call where you've got lots and okay. lots of Agnes, fabric. Okay, we'll just come to you there. Sorry. That's yeah. right. You've got lots and lots of fabric to stitch through. Yeah. Loads of layers. So what I do is, is grade that seam if you can. And when you say grade? Yes. What you mean is where it's we're gonna it's gonna have a facing on it. Yes. So actually the closest to the outside of the fabric, trim it right down to one eighth of an inch. Right. Then the next layer, trim it down to about two eighths of an inch. Right. And then the facing, half an inch. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer says, let us a simple, straight explanation at each step. I must admit, I held my breath when the iron went down on the tape. <laughs> did look very That's much what you'll like. love about the same quarter of you as they yes. say it as it is. <laughs> so thank you, Jennifer, my love. Okay. Right, now we're now moving on to yes. the lovely um, swag uh, cardigan jacket that goes over the top. Now, uh, again, you don't have to wear it with... Oh, this is lovely because you've got those um, lovely knife pleats on the bust mm -hmm. there. You don't have to wear it with the dress. Obviously, you can wear this as a, a completely separate and it'll be used over and over and over again. It'll be your throw on by your yeah, front this door. This is until. perfect, yeah. <coughs> I mean, it would glam up any set of pyjamas, I think. Oh, uh, So, again, the pattern's in the book. You trace the pattern out for the size that you need. Yes. And what I want to show you is a nice, easy way of transferring your markings. Oh, okay, pretty. Okay, so. so just explain the pattern piece first of all. Where yep. this is the shoulder. This is the shoulder. It. It's another one of those that looks like mad. Yeah. Because it's all about the draping. But you can see here, this is where your pleats are at the top. See those markings there? Yeah, yeah? can we come in a bit closer on those, uh, Michael? We've got a camera up there which takes a while oh, to yes. um, zoom in on them. There you, there you go. go, there you go. So those markings there, just explain what those markings are then. So what you've got is one pleat line, that's going to be the one side, and then you're going to bring that one over. So you can see that I've drawn the, the arrow on. Yeah. You put the, you line up the fabric, fold so, it over so and bring it, it to this. It's literally going to do... Yes, that. That. So you can see here, you end up with a Which little... Which one do you want to look at first? Going to go to the jacket first? Yeah. You get a little pocket of extra fabric there. Yeah. So it's like a little knife, knife pleat, which is stitched down at the top and then let yeah. loose. And then that's it on the pattern piece there. So you get that. Now, all of these lines are on the original pattern, aren't yes. they? Yes. So you try and make sure you transfer absolutely everything. Okay. Um, if you do find come unstuck, don't be afraid to just go back to your original right. pattern. Sorry, I've just got to interrupt one second. Yes. Mandy. Randy, we have this glitch. It's ridiculous. If you want to buy more than one and a half metres, you need to ring the call centre. It's being, they've been promising, they've got a free, free um, call, 0800 112 It's an issue we've had for a long time. They are supposed to be sorting out so you can buy more. Just ring the call centre if you want five units. No, yeah, five units. Then call anything above one and a half metres, you need to ring the call centre. Sorry about that, Mandy. We are getting it sorted. Sorry. No problem at all. Yeah. It's important knowledge. Yes. Right, so, let me see which way I'm going around. That's the one. Well, that's why. It is one of those. Turn it upside down, yeah. turn it the other way around. Right. Okay. So you can see there's like little triangles. Right. Where it goes up, make sure those are lined up like that. What's the chart? Why are there triangles there? So that when you do the folding, I yeah. can show you on here. When you fold the fabric over, the triangle sort of goes into the fabric. If oh, it wasn't so if you there, didn't have the triangle, there'd be a bit missing. There'd be a so when you stitched your seam, there'd, there'd be nothing. Be a hole, you'd have on. a little hole at the top nice. of the shoulder. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. Right, so line those things up. I'm going to yeah. put some pins in so they don't move around. Like that. Nice, ready. So what I'm going to do yeah. is, <coughs> when I'm transferring my pattern markings, right. What you want to do, put your pin head right into the bottom. Right. Yeah, like that. And go, make sure you go through the fabric and the paper. Right. It's easier if you're on an ironing board because you can just stab straight Oh, through. yes, yes, yes. I'm so sorry about that. I have an ironing board delivered for next time, <laughs> shall I? Don't worry. Um, so then what you do is fold your paper back. Yeah. And you can see where the pins come through. The pin's gone through. through the fabric. Then you can either get a pin. Yeah. And just put a little pin in where that marking needs to be. Yeah. Or... If you've got some chalk, you can just put a little chalk mark there. OK, so that's just marking the end of... The end the of your pleat. pleat. Yeah, and okay. then what you're going to do is do the end. And you'll do one 
closer to the top as well. Yeah. That gives you the two points of, of your course. line. But also that, that one there is an easy one to do because you know that it's going to go into the... Into the corner. ...corner of the V, whereas yeah. this one here, it's just yeah. somewhere on the seam, isn't it? Yeah. Now, there's a question come through. It hasn't come on my screen, but um, um, they're going to read it out for okay. me. Morning, Deborah and John. Thank you for demonstrating this pattern. Okay. Okay, she said she was very uh, put off doing this because it's very different from a conventional pattern. And really lovely to see, and who's that from? Patricia, really lovely to see you explaining it fully. Oh, thank That's you very nice, much. That's very nice. Um, yeah, I think it's one of those, it, it can be a little bit scary. But if you, if, no, I think if you were sitting at home and you had a pattern piece like this, mm -hmm. You'd literally, if you, and if you're not an experienced dressmaker, mm -hmm. or even if you are an experienced dressmaker and you're used to seeing a centre back and a centre front, yeah. that you're going to be going, which, and to see somebody actually sit here and go, right, this goes here, this goes here. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Good. And then we can, when you get it home, you can also watch this on YouTube because this is now on YouTube forever. Yes. So when you're old and grey, uh, yeah. it'll be uh, in the in. <laughs> it'll be on the it'll be on the internet forever. Forever, yeah. it'll never disappear. What I really like about things like that is is actually the fact that you can pause it. I know that seems really simple, but but watching it through and just saying actually, oh wait, what did she And then say? going back exactly. And, then, and actually, there there are things that you can view where you can slow the slow it slow it down so it can oh. make it the image go oh, a lot we slower. Got that, but, I don't think, but, we've but got... one day. Oh no, but but you see, because if you watch it on the internet, yeah. we do, it just uh, on our website, it's mm -hmm. just repeated, repeated. You can't yeah. stop it because if you stop it, when you then go back to it, it's jumped to where it is. Yeah, exactly. Time, and you'll on miss YouTube, it. you can stop it, do that stitch or do the pin in, mm -hmm. then watch the next bit. Yeah. Do that. Anyway, I really I'll let like you do that. the next bit. No problem. Let me see if I've got. Uh, good morning, John and Deborah. Welcome to our family, Deborah. Our new super duo. Lots of love, Carol in Scottish. Oh, have you lost? Nice. Um, I had a, a ruler and a. Oh, a ruler. But, um... Jay. The, the... Don't worry too no, much. that's not a ruler. We'll get no. a ruler for you. Um, is, you just want to mark in? Yeah, I was just going to mark it on. Pencil as well. Uh, some form of chalk, yeah. yeah. Pencil. Okay, or I know. Uh, you, they, um, Deborah did ask Katie for it earlier. But yeah, Katie's obviously forgot to put it on her list. I think they asked a few times whether I had everything, and I did say I had. So okay. I'm blaming myself for that. Oh, okay. That's fine. Don't blame. It's your first day. Don't be blaming yourself. Oh, They'll be not. watching, making <laughs> notes. <laughs> She's making mistakes already. And um, while we while we're waiting for the ruler and the. Um, uh, the uh, chalk. Oh. Let's have a look at some of the projects that are in the book here, because the book is brilliant. Because you need it tells you all about techniques, all about what you might need to know, like rulers and um, bits of chalk and everything. <laughs> uh, making clothes that fits. All talking about the fit of a pattern, altering a pattern to make it fit and everything. And then you get when you eventually get onto the pro uh, the, uh, the projects, because we're still on techniques and everything. So then, oh, she's off. Okay. Oh, it's not Jay. It's not your fault, Jay. We know. Uh, I love these. We had fabrics yesterday with the capri pants like that. I was trying to model them, but it wouldn't work. Um, be fantastic, fantastic. Because if you think you get patterns for every single one of these projects, it goes from uh, ladies' fashion, ladies' maxi dresses, uh, girls' dresses, men's T-shirts, uh, little um, fancy dress costumes. It's got something for everybody in here. It's brilliant, isn't it? Right, I'll I get loved to... the Oh, I love this. Yeah, that is good. Lorna made that, I think. Beautiful. Who? Lorna, who was oh, on the programme. Lorna. Yeah. We haven't oh, met Lorna yet. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, I'll get on because you've got lots of... Uh, no lots problem of at all. Right. So what I want to do now is I've put on oh, one, please. You that back, no, you're all right, it's no, fine. Exactly um, right. Yeah, because we'll just do one. Just not, um, so what I'm going to do is I've put pins so I can see, and it's where the fabric has been caught, yes. that that's where your mark is. Yeah? Right. So I'm just going to make a little mark with the chalk. Yeah. So I can get those pins out of the way of my ruler. Right. And then bring you the can ruler do this. in. You can do this on um, cottons as well, can't you? It's yeah. Not just jerseys. This Absolutely. is not just Anything. a jersey. Yeah, thing, definitely. Um, and actually, a lot of the time, it's just me trying to trying to be faster. I just don't like doing Taylor's talk. Taylor's, Taylor's tax. tax. Even. Taylor can't even say them, let alone do Yeah, them. exactly. June says, never made any clothes like this, but could easily be my first make. Welcome <gasps> to the family, Deborah. Love John as always. Lots of love, June. Thank oh, you, June. Thank you, June. Very nice, aren't they, everybody? Everybody's lovely. Right, um, who's us? June. Oh, June, also the same June. A different June. Yeah. One South Yorkshire, one's East Sussex. Uh, would this fabric be good for little girls' leggings? Absolutely perfect. 
And your, has your little girl got yeah. some leggings? Okay, yeah, go. I've made leggings with Ponty Romy before and it is really nice stuff because it's quite it stable feels, as well. It feels gorgeous. And yeah. I imagine it's quite hard wearing because you want little girls' leggings to be hard wearing. Yeah, so. nice and strong. Okay, right. so you've marked so, your two lines on in chalk. Yep, yeah. and then what I want to do is, if you show me, all I need to do is make sure I've got the arrow the right way around because you want your pleats to go. Oh, yes, now, because normally you'd have knife, plate, knife pleats going away from the centre yes. because it's flattering, but because this is creating that kind of bucket shape, you want the knife pleats going to the inside, to yeah. the centre front. As long as you follow the pattern <coughs> and, and make sure you put that arrow onto your traced version. Yeah. It's nice and easy. So what I'm going to do first is actually I'm going to do this. What are you doing? I'm going to mark up, so matching that pink line there yeah. to the other. And then putting some pins in. I think I need to... Are they, are they top stitched down or are they stitched a different way? Yes, yeah, so they're stitched. I need to look at my back caption. Sorry. No, you're all right. Because you it can should either be top a... stitch a knife pleat down or you can stitch yeah. it from behind before you, you yeah. make the thing. Yeah, and I think it's both. I'm just having a look at this. Oh, no, you know, know what? I think you've got a bit of both in there. You've got top yeah. stitching and you've got seaming on it. Yeah, and I've only got two markings, so I want to make sure I've got it right. Do, 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 do. Wrong one. No. That's why I'm on the wrong oh, pattern. Oh, wrong pattern. That's why I just can't find yeah, it. Yeah, that doesn't work, does it? Right. So. Oh, I see. It is this. Da -da -da -da. What you're doing is you're putting that there. Yeah. First. You stitch that side down. Yes. And then on the other side, you stitch the other side down. Yes. We got it in the end. But the thing is, that's what that's what it's all. Uh, you know, that's why we do these, so you, we can... Because everybody's going to be the same way, going, oh, where do I stitch this? What do I do with this Yeah, bit? exactly. And actually, the, the thing is, you, you start doing it, and it's just about re referring back all the time. And actually, a lot of patterns do things in slightly different ways. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you think yeah. you know what you're doing, and yeah. then you look at it and go, oh, maybe I should do it a different way. Now, a lot of the, these ones, this one and the other pattern, talk about using um, a twin needle. Oh, okay. I'm using that, yeah. but what I've done is I've just used the, because I wanted to introduce people to using the sewing machine yes. for this stretch, I thought we'd stick with the one Yeah, stitch. no, no, that's fine. But if next time we'll do that yeah, as definitely. well. Oh, it, look, she invited herself back already. Next time I'll do next twin. Next time. See, that's the way to do it, though, isn't yeah. it? Well, next well, time I'll do that. I promised then. everyone now, yeah. you'll have to bring me back. <laughs> right, so, making sure that's all nice and flat. Now, uh, you see that top you're wearing now? Yes. Isn't that the top you brought in and made for your screen test? It is, yeah. I did, I did uh, Deborah's screen test with her, you see, and I, yeah. that, when it was all about matching plans and everything. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even sure it's that well matched. I was so stressed in the thing, I just started cutting things. I was like, I'm talking and cutting and it's fine and not yeah. a problem. Oh. Um, uh, but, yeah. There's a lovely email from Deb saying... Oh, from Deb, from Annie. Hel oh, hello from a fellow sewing bee in Scotland. <gasps> Oh, it's Annie. She's in series two. Oh. And uh, she says you're doing really well. Oh, thank you very much, Anne. That's very nice. Hello. Right, keep going. Yeah, keep going. So, on your walking foot, I know on a normal foot, I think I've got one in here. Annie makes cheese, apparently. She does. She makes very good cheese. All right. And oh. she goes lots of tomatoes as well. Oh, so, anyway. if you can see here. What's this then? This is a normal foot on your right. sewing machine, yeah. yeah? And what I tend to do is, can you see how it's sort of see through? We're just coming down there. to you there. Yeah. There you go, there you there go. You go. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, see through, through the there. I use that, that to guide where my seams are going to go, generally. Right. But because we're using the walking foot, yes. you want to make sure, and it's very important with your top stitching that you use the same place every time. Yes. So I'm just going to use on here. Oh, we can get into it, that the, the camera that behind you will come into that in a second. Yeah, there, it's probably that one there, yeah. So actually, I'm probably going to go There you go, there you go, there you go. If you can screen, you see that we're on. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant. Yeah, in there. And you can see there's lots of little markings. There's one that's kind of at the back, and I'm going to use that as so the, that you as the top so stitching you line. So that you top stitch in exactly the same place each time. Yeah, so that you follow one line and it remains very straight yes. as you go along. Yeah. So I'm going to do that now. So now, if you were making this out of just a cotton fabric, yeah. you'd iron that that pleat in, in before yeah. you stitch it down. Do you yeah. not need to do that so much? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this first one yeah. to hold it down, right? And then I'll and then I'll press it. Okay, okay. Because it just means that as you go along, it's going to it might shift and move. So you better have in the first one down press and then it, press it. Okay. And then do it. Yeah. I 
And are we still are we still on the little zigzag, even though we're doing top stitching, or we gone? Do we go to a straight stitch? No, I'm, I'm still on a zigzag. But it's that, such a shallow zigzag. It's such a, yeah, that actually you can't see the difference really. Yeah. Um, and this machine is so lovely; it makes such lovely stitches anyway. Yeah. This is the 680. It automatically comes with the walking foot in it or in the kit. So. Yeah. I love that control you have over actually having. Do you the know on this one? You don't. Well. You could wear both of your shoes. Because you don't, you don't need you to use the pedal, go. you've got the button to press. I won't make you do it now, but, you know. No, I've got one, mine does that as well, and I can't bring myself to do it. There's something about the, the control of having your foot there. When I first, when I first uh, learned to drive many, many, many moons ago, <laughs> I could only drive in one pair of shoes. I'd done all my lessons and yeah. I did my testing. So when I then passed it, I'd be like, oh, I can't wear any other shoes to drive, so I'd always be changing my shoes to drive the car. <laughs> then I went through a phase of doing barefooted, and that's, not, that's not good to drive your car, yeah. Oh, is it not? Uh, Geraldine, I've ordered the book, John. I've always made Ooh. clothes for myself, but can't have too many tips on how to make it look professional. That's a love, oh, Geraldine. Thanks. Thank you very much. There you go. Yeah. Loads of, loads of compliments coming in. Any yeah. bad ones? Any, any rubbish? Any rubbish? Any, that's, that's foolish. Why would you do it that way? There we go. I'm just going to do it with my hand. Because we were talking earlier, weren't we, about um, using a clapper? And actually, your hand can do just as good a job. We haven't basically. got a clapper. With... No. If you know at home what a clapper is, she knows. I've never heard of it. Maybe I think you do. just like me saying the word, don't you? Basically, just Go like... On, what, what was it called again? It's called a clapper. Oh, we've got a minute left. Oh, flip oh, it up now. Fast. Right, yes. OK. I'll put, put my pleat in. Press that. There you go. So what you do, you're taking away moisture by doing that? Yeah, basically the steam in the fabric, and then as you press and hold it, as the steam disappears. If you've got a clapper, it's wood, and it pulls all the steam See, into in it. In all my years, I've, I might maybe call it something else, but I don't think it's it. Anyway, you better... It. It's great. You're going to do some stitching. Oh, don't stop it, top stitch it before I leave. I'll start Finish tidying up for you, shall I? Thank you. Right, remember to check out your baskets on everything that we've had now, especially the jersey. Which colour? The grey? The grey one especially. Yeah, I like that because it's got quite a nice shimmeriness to it. Well, it's got it? that mild, and it, yes, it's, it has got a shimmer to it more than the other two plain colours, hasn't yeah. it? The book. Oh, make sure you check. Yeah, both the things we made. Get all the patterns and all the and all the instructions. Everything all comes with the book. There you oh, go. there you go. Perfect. Now, I don't awesome. know how much this you can be able to see on black on black on the camera, but look. So you see the oh, two, two lines of stitching there. One top stitch there and then one from there. Brilliant. Now, you've got 30 seconds. You've got any one little last tip you want to say, or one just want to go tip. home? Basically, just take your time, yeah. and it's going to be perfect. No problems. And next time, you're going to do? Next time, I'll do the, the twin needle twin as well. Needle. But for yeah. now, buy the jersey needles. Yes. Um, thank you ever so much. It was thank brilliant. You. It flew by. Yeah, Absolutely flew by. I've had a lovely Next time. time, if you can make a whole dress, that would be perfect. OK, great. I should All right, then. Um, she will be back, don't you worry. Um, I'll be back in three minutes from now when I've got Jane and we're doing that lovely, really lovely, a star uh, block cushion. It's really good. She's got three um, bundles and it's a nine patch. So we'll see you in three minutes from now. And thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Shop with us this Sunday and Monday and you'll receive a free thread pack worth £8.99 with your first order over £10. To thank you for your first sewing quarter purchase, we'll include this pack of seven Gutterman sew wool threads designed to match the Fenton House fabric range. It includes beautiful jewel tones on 100 metre spools. Made from 100% polyester, this strong thread is great quality, colour fast and guaranteed not free. It's ideal for both machine and hand sewing. So shop now at www.sewingquarter.com and claim your free threads when you spend just £10. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten you will have to ease the top section 
of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle. So I'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so. So you can see that I've got just that section sewn there and then as I begin to pull you can see that I'm easing the head of my sleeve in. So when that is stitched these curves should disappear, they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing. So that's easing. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. Wendy's got a very posh postman or post lady, hasn't she? Post lady riding in a shearling coat with her hair all done. Mine's still wearing shorts. All right, mate. All right. Anyway, look at this. Here's... Didn't Deborah do well? Didn't Deborah do well? Anyway, um, this is nice. This is lovely, isn't it? Uh, it's a gorgeous star cushion that Jane has made for us, and she's going to recreate for us in a different colourway now. So let me show you the... Oh, no, I'll take you the ruler first because it's created by using this so easy triangular ruler. 60 degree ruler, 11 pounds and 99 pence. Now I'm not gonna try and explain it to you at all. Jane will do all of that during the show. Uh, no, it's fine. 11 pounds and 99 pence for the ruler. Now I've got three bundles, three bundles to make said cushion. Now I'm thinking you might be able to make more than one cushion, but I will ask Jane when she goes, could you get a meter and a half of fabric? There's this one here, which this one's made out of. Golden star, this one's called. So you get half a meter of each of these fabrics. Pumpkin. Oh, now on the web image, apparently that one in the middle looks very red. It's not red, obviously, it's that lovely orange color there. 14 pounds and 49 pence. Then we've got this one, which is one Jane's gonna be um, demonstrating. This one's called Aqua, I believe. Oh, wait a second, John. Oh, there you go, Aqua, I was right. Nine pounds and 49 pence, you get half a metre of each of those fabrics, which the one James can demonstrate with. And then the vintage one is this one here. You get two spot-ons, half a metre, and a vanilla, I'm presuming, a linear print. Now, in real life, on your telly, those two greens might be looking very, very similar. In real life, though, one is darker than the other. 14 pounds and 49 pence for that. Okay, let's go. I don't know if you do anything else over here. No, come on. Jay's obviously put that out to display the cushion on there. You go. I wonder what that was doing on the desk. Oh, you don't need that. Right. Gorgeous. Thank the cushion. You. Not you, the cushion. <laughs> You're gorgeous. Right. Thank you. Uh, oh, I was looking at the back there. What am I looking at here, son? Oh, I love that quilt. Um, is it difficult? No, not with this ruler, it's fantastic. Okay, Are there, is that a flying geese? No. It's similar to a flying geese. But okay, it's, but it's not a flying it's geese. A, yeah, it's what? more pointed, because it's a 60 degree equilateral triangle. Oh, okay, is it equilateral or isosceles? No, I think it's equilateral. Okay. Mm. Okay, so, uh, Hannah's muttering, but I can't hear what she's saying. That's the unit <laughs> that we're making. Yep. And then I'll show you how to put those units together to make the, the square. Okay. So it's basically a nine patch, isn't it? Mm. 
I'm just going <coughs> to... You can carry on. I'm just going to do something. Because I wanted a 12-inch block, it's a nine patch, so um, three into 12 is four. So I want four-inch blocks finished. Right. So I'm going to start with a strip of fabric, cut out four and a half inches. How do you know to cut it out that size, then? Because I want half an inch, I want my quarter of an inch seam allowance. Right. So you're starting with, because I want it four finished, it's four and a half <coughs> to start with. <coughs> Excuse me. With just, this, we've just both had a bit of fruit in the break, and I'm feeling really. <coughs> can we just get your, some more yeah, water? Stuck in your. Right, okay, you carry on then with the, because this is important to see how to use the ruler now. I just put my drink of water there so, so you can see it. So, on the ruler here, I've got it upside down, yeah. but I don't know if you can see, it's got inch marks and half inch marks and quarter inch marks and right. even the five eighths of an inch mark on it. The dashed line is the five eighths of an inch. You cut your strips to the width that you want the finished square to be because we're ending up with a square. Right. Um, so mine's four and a half. Yeah. So I place the four and a half line on the ruler on the bottom of my strip. Right. And I'm it, it's a bit deceptive because when I looked at that, oh, you, you cut that and then I'll look yeah. at the cushion again. But now, oh yeah, go on. I'm going to do something that I don't actually like doing, but you have to do it for the first one. Okay. Um, you have to cut towards yourself. So I'm going to do the first cut away. And then I'll move and over And then I'm here. going to move to the side. And right. I'm cutting towards myself. I can't think of another way. Unless well, you move I your... can think of a way, but we haven't got it here, the rotating cutting map. I yes, think they're out of stock, do. aren't they? Turn your strip around. So I've got my first triangle there. My right. strip is in two. I want four of these triangles to start right. with. So I've cut two there. Right. And then I'm flipping the ruler upside down. Oh, so there's no wastage then? No. Lining, you've got that little bit that's yeah. wasted. <laughs> and then from then on, you're always cutting away from yourself. Yes. So you've got your two. And if you want to make more, you just carry on going along the strip <coughs> until you've got as many as you want. So that's my background. So why would you use this ruler rather than use a long ruler with a 60 inch, a 60 uh, angle to be angled on it. Just because it's a little bit easier to manoeuvre. Right. If you've got your long one with your 60 degree angle, you've got all of this and you've got to think about positioning and whether you So it rulers... takes all the hard work of it yeah. out. So we're not saying got... you can't do it with no, a big ruler. No, but you've ruler. got to think about where you are and making Wait, sure yeah. you're the right way and your ruler gets... You don't know which way around that goes at the moment. No, yeah. because I can't see the line there we go it would be I'd be there and I'd be cutting I'd be lining it up with my mat so so it's basically taking all the, yeah all the, or along the bottom there, there go, and, it, my, yeah. and lining it up that way sorry I didn't mean to make that no, difficult for you but it does make it yes. difficult with the straight ruler because you, you you spend like I just did ages trying to find it's the right line to mark yeah, exactly it. and you've got all this in the way yeah when you're straight away with the triangle on you just once you've done that first yeah, cut, you just, you're just lining it, up it up, yeah. upside down each time. So how many do you have to cut for the front of a cushion? Four for that block. This block here, one, two, three, four. Right. Okay. And then you want your triangles for the side. For the middle bit there. This side. Oh, the, side the, the background, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so okay, so on the cushion you're making, the sun rays are going to be in white. Yeah. This is a blue sky. Yeah. And then I've got the pale. And then you've got aqua, a pale yeah. aqua to go in the middle. middle. Yeah. Right, so the bundle at the bottom, excuse me, I've got a golden star is this bundle. And then this one here is the aqua one. Now, uh, now, how many cushions could you think you could make out of your metre and a half? Or does it depend on the backing? It would depend on your backing, but you'd get at least two, I would think. So you could get two. Could you get, how many of these blocks could you get out of it? If you forget the if back. If you get the backing, you'd probably get... Probably six, thinking about it. Maybe more. So you can make like a little mini quilt if you want. to. You could. To. You could use the block and make a, a yeah, throw. Yeah, uh, so you could make the front a little mini quilt out of the front of those. Yeah. And then if you make a cushion, get a different fabric for the backing. Yeah. You don't have to. So you can make a couple of cushions or you can make about six um, blocks. Yeah. Right. So for the points, I'm just going to cut the salvage bit off and you can use your ruler just to line it Yeah, because it's only them. a narrow... Um, you just line, Strip, it, line it? it up on the mat with the lines on the mat and everything. So that's just cutting the salvage off. So, to get your points, yes. you've got this middle line on your ruler. Oh, hang ruler. on, I need to see that. 
Hold it there. If I hold it over the white, you might be able to see it a little bit better. The middle line. We've got the middle line there. Yeah. And then you've got all these increments of quarter, and then the dashed line is an eighth of an inch. Right. I'm going to line that middle line up with the straight edge. Right. I'm not looking at the, the measurement right. down. Yeah. I'm looking at this one across because I want a quarter of an inch across. Right. Oh, so right. I'm lining yes. that quarter of an inch mark at the top, yeah. at the top there. Oh, excuse me. So that's the first cut away. Yeah. Now this is, the, well, I think this is cl the clever bit of this ruler. I'm now going to my, line that half mark yeah. up against that diagonal oh, line. Oh, wow. <coughs> and again, bring it down until that quarter of an inch mark yeah. is at the bottom. So I've got, then I've got to, oops, sorry. Just slip this. Slip it, make sure you put firm pressure on. I've then got a straight line. I've now got, there's two in it. Obviously, the fabric's folded over in two, so I've got two. Yeah. So that's one square. That's the next square. And then I line up the quarter of an inch mark again on this side. Right. And oh, yes, because you need two of them. You need two for each, for each blue triangle. Each that's triangle, how I was getting confused, yeah. yeah. And there you go. And you carry on just flipping your ruler around and you get your pieces. Okay. Oh, I can hear the phone. Someone switched the volume back up. They had to switch the volume off upstairs. I can hear it again now. So we're going to attach these pieces now to either side of that triangle. Okay, so now have you got bias seam? Have you got bias edges? You've got now, bias edges, yet? so you need to take your time with, yeah. your, with your sewing. The temptation is to line it up so it's edge to edge. Yep. You, you don't. You just offset it slightly so that you've got the quarter of an inch showing at the bottom there. Oh, they see that would throw me. Yes. That little and bit. And it throws you as well because you've got the quarter of an yes. inch floating at the top there with nothing yes. behind it. But when you sew it, when you press it back, yes. it'll I would make it square again. I would have not matched that end, but I would have matched that end. Yeah. If you can see here, yeah. what happens, you've got that tail sticking out, but it brings the point to the bottom of yes. this. Now, when we make the flying geese goose unit, geese unit, we don't want the point right at the end. But on this you do, because when you come to add the side bits on it, then gives you a quarter of an quarter inch. Quarter inch seam lines, yeah. So don't worry and think, oh no, I've done that wrong because it comes right to the yes, end. Yes, because normally it wouldn't come, it would normally do this kind of thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. got any questions for Jane? Jane, don't forget to get them in. Are you in again before Christmas? Yeah, I'm All in right. I'm in the next two Mondays. Oh, are you? And then I'm in on the Friday the 22nd. Well, a busy well. month for you then. I've got two more after today. Do right. four altogether in December. Uh -huh. We've done one already then? Yeah, we did last Monday, didn't we? That no, December, that wasn't that's December, Monday. was it? Oh, I'm You're four in December, then? <laughs> yes. So what date is it today? It's about the 4th today, isn't yes. it? Yes. So I've lost track four, completely. 4th, 12th, 16th and 22nd? Yes. Okay. That's right. Oh. I took me ages to work out that it was December. Oh. I lost track completely. I think it was having that busy weekend. Yeah. I lost track of all the days. I didn't know what day it was oh. or anything. So, if we press that... That's... Oh, yes. The seam allowance is a bit wide on there, but... And then you place the next triangle over the, over the top again and just offset it. Now, these are going to overlap at this end, aren't they? The, yeah, uh, the they're going pinnacle to o over, overlap at the top because I don't know if you can see on the, on the block, you just you still have, a, it doesn't come and touch. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It gives you a little bit extra, which helps with matching. This at the bottom there, your point doesn't go right the way down to the start of the middle colour, it's actually a little bit up. Okay, I'm just going to ask, while you stitch that, I'm just going to ask you to turn the microphone off because I just need to blow my nose. 
so I can go out of the shop. I'm not going to. Oh, no, I'm going to. I'm just going to press that up and away. And that gives us our unit. I'm back now. Hello. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you for that. Uh, miss the bit. Miss that bit, John. Does the first cut have the quarter inch stick out above the cut, same as the second cut? Yes, Thank it you, does. Thank you, Teresa. Yes. OK, right. Let's, just, let's, do it let's again. start one again. Like, for Teresa, here you go. You've got your two half triangles, if you like, and your, and your main triangle. Yes. Oh, hang on, hang on. Have we got it yet? Go yeah. On. You just offset that slightly so that the quarter of an inch is lined up with the bottom yes. there. So it's just... OK, so it goes slightly over the, by quarter of an, an inch, inch at, at that end. And the quarter of an inch here... Just comes... I don't know if you can see yeah, it. No, it's literally see the, the yeah. width of the quarter yeah. of an inch. Did you get that, trees, my love? That's on the first one, and then it does exactly... Oh, that's on the first one. Then the second one, we'll show you the second one in a second. It does exactly the same thing. Did you watch Strictly Come Dancing last night? Oh, yes. Don't say, in case that people haven't watched it, but Hannah's not going to be very happy. Oh, I just love the costumes. I, I thought the whole... It. The whole concept was beautiful, wasn't it? The costumes and the... For the whole show, you yeah, mean? Yeah, the show. Do you know what? I don't, I don't warm to Debbie McGee myself, but I actually burst into tears during the dance routine. I know, routine I made me... It was brilliant. Yeah, well, the thing is, this is the issue, isn't it, right? She did go to the Royal Ballet School when she was younger. Yes. And, you know, Alex Byrne is in West End shows. I saw her in Bodyguard with Bonnie, who I'm seeing for lunch today. And... Um, She's, you know what I mean? She, and then uh, Kush has never ever danced in his life before. That boy out of casualty hasn't really danced before, no. do you know what I mean? So I don't really know. I love the way that they've developed, like the, the boys. I yes. think, they've, I think had, the boy from I City love, or Casualty is going to win. I love Joe's dance. Because at first I was like, a salsa to that song. Not well, that's what they all thought. Yeah. Well, you should be a judge. I didn't, I didn't know what it meant, but he did. He, if you don't know, he did Money, Money, Money from oh, um, it was Cabaret. Brilliant. A salsa. Was it a salsa? Yeah, I think it was and a salsa. Like, anyway, it's brilliant. But that's down to Katia's choreography, isn't it? I mean, she's lovely. Oh, I think you're well into this show, aren't oh, you? Oh, I love it. Did you see that, Teresa? Sorry, we were so yeah, busy sorry, chatting about the dancing. So, so again, it's offset, and it's going to be... It's, it's offset by a quarter of an inch up yes, there. Yes, so you've got your dog ears sticking over. up the top there. So press that up, up and away. And you'll have four of those units. Right. OK. Yeah. Then you'll want your background squares. Got plenty of time, don't worry. What do you need now? I thought I'd cut them. It's OK. I'll cut some more. What haven't you got? No, I've got them here. Take no notice of me. So Is that because I walked away? Yes. <laughs> Set me all of a dither. So we've got... Four and, an in, four and a half inch squares. Finished four Fini inch. Finished at four. Two of those in the corners with a star that way. Uh. Those two turned at 90 degrees. And then we're going to put the pale blue in the middle. Oh, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. And then we're going to put... This looks very nautical, this one, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we're going to put... That way. Okay. What happens? <coughs> Excuse now, me. You can. Oh, gone then. You're reading my mind now. We can take these ones away. Yeah. We can turn that unit around. And we can put white squares in the corners. Oh. And we end up with a different star shape. But by using the same... But by using the same unit and the same fabrics yeah. we've got in the bundle. So you, okay. you can have a play. You could, make, you could make a quilt using that block and this block next to each other, and you end up with like an arrow if you had the other star going that way. 
you end up with like an arrow shape oh, yes. going through, so the other star would be... Okay, put that one back there, take those out of there, put the dark blue one, they're not dark blue, but the aqua blue ones in the corner there. So quite like that one, that looks like tiles, doesn't it, that one? Yeah. You can put half square units, if you did half square triangle units in the corners. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to put, where, where have you got a blue one? Just put no, a blue that's one. that one. Let me just it. No, that doesn't, oh, 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 oh. You get a different. Get a completely different pattern now. Yeah. I don't know if I like it, but these are. No. Nah. No, that doesn't work for me. What, no, it's, I think it's too, you'd end up with quite an interesting pattern if you put the blocks together. Yes, definitely. But what you could do is you could put half square. Yes. Triangles. In the corners. And because it's this equilateral triangle and then the 45 degree triangle, yeah. it gives you like a curved effect. Oh. And when you put the blocks all together, when you and you get like a little square in the corners yes. then as well. When they put the blocks together, and overall it gives you like a sort of swirl. It's part of. It isn't quite storm at sea, but it's similar. Oh to shh! Storm Don't give us secrets away. Storm at sea effect. Right. Okay. I think maybe I'd do this. Yeah, and keep the block all the same colour. Yes. And then you could do your half square triangles. Maybe. With a different colour. Or you could do a po opposite one so that when you've got your little four patch thing going on here, yeah. you'd have a oh, different yes. colour thing there. You can also make different blocks to go in the middle. Everyone's <laughs> like at home going, oh, I'm so confused now. <laughs> it's an hour, oh, that's hourglass nice. block in the middle there. Yeah. Again, you could use the same colour as your yeah. star. Or you could put a four patch in the middle. Oh, that's nice as well. So you get lots of different effects. Lots of different choices. But should we get back to the... Um, to the original. The original. Which is... And of course you can change those middles with this, with this star shape as well. I mean, you could put your different middles in. That's not right. That's not right. It's the, the dark blue, blue ones. ones. Yeah. <coughs> there you go. So now, how would you sew these together? Sew them together into threes. Okay. Into rows, and then sew the rows together. Off you go, then. Do you want that square in the middle, or do you want a different? Oh no, it's up to you. It's your design, not mine. <coughs> yeah, if you put, if you put that. Thank one, you so much, says Teresa. Great shows will always help on hand with you and the guests. Thank you so much. You're all very helpful. Much appreciated. So that's what we're here for, Teresa, my love. So... Are you going back to the original then? Yeah, we'll do it like it is on the... Isn't it? Watching this sew. In your little <coughs> room upstairs above the shop. Yes. When there's six of you, are, are there moments when you're all concentrating on your sewing that it goes very quiet or is it always raucous? No, it, sometimes it does. And particularly, depending on how difficult the, the block is, depends on the level of noise. Oh, you okay. can, sometimes you can almost hear the concentration. Um. So I'm going to press the seams outwards on that one, so okay. they're both facing out, so they're underneath the turquoise. Yeah. So they're both facing outwards. Right. So to make this block, you <coughs> Excuse me, you start off with four and a half inch squares for the plain ones at the outside. Yeah. Four and a half inch strips to make the, the flying geese bit, but it's not a flying geese. 
yeah. to cut the triangles out of. And that will give you a 12 inch 12 finished inch block. block. Yes. You can make, I mean, you can make them smaller or larger depending on how big you want your block or your quilt or your cushion or what, whatever you want to oh, do. Yeah, of course. It's a nine patch, so it needs to be divisible easily, I think, divisible by three. Right. So you could do three inch squares. Which would give you a nine inch yeah. block. But if you want a bigger cushion, if you've got an 18 inch cushion. Yeah. You have to think then about div div dividing it by three, which I can't do. My head doesn't Five work. and a half. Five and a half, isn't it? Is it? I don't no, know. which is not six. No, it'd have to be six and a half, wouldn't it? Yeah, yes. cut them at six and a half to yeah. be finished at six. Yeah. yeah. When you're trying to work out a block, do you sit and draw it with? in pencil first to try and work out how big all your finished pieces should be? Um, yes, I do sometimes. Sometimes I think about the block I want and then make up the quilt from the block design. And I don't think about the finished size. I just think, oh, well, that would look better as a 12-inch block or that would look better as a 6-inch right, block. Okay. And then I work out how many I'll need to fit the size of quilt I want. I don't very often think about the size of the quilt finished. No. But if you're, if you're thinking, I want a 12 inch block and it's not a simple nine patch, would you draw, get a 12 inch piece of paper and draw the lines where you want it to go to try and work out the sizes? Yes, I probably would. I've got um, a squared pad that I quite often do sketches of things and if I, if I have an idea that comes, I'll sketch it out or if I see something, sometimes when you go to the shows, you'll see a block that you like and you think, oh, I wonder what that will look like if it just, use that or you add a yeah. different thing to it and quite often I take photographs of tiled floors mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to the V&A and I was taking pictures of the floor tiles rather than all the, <laughs> but there, and the, the statues and everything else because the floor tile was like a really interesting yes, patchwork uh... block and there's well also it's like any Victorian at that my house in Tokyo was Victorian and the floor in the hall it's an amazing yeah, patchwork, uh, patchwork of, of terracotta and black and white tiles. The school that Josh used to go to was an old um, Regency building. And obviously, because we live in Staffordshire, there's a there's wonderful heritage of tiles and things. Yeah. And the floor in there was lovely. And I took a photograph of that with the one day um, plan to make a quilt from the blocks. I haven't got around to it yet. There's... there's um, there are books out there that are based on tiled floors. Oh, wow. Um, so we've got the rows done there. Yeah. And we've got the seams, one facing out, the middle one facing in, and the top one facing out. Yeah. So when we come to join them together, they'll lock. Again, they'll lock in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So you'll get your nice <coughs> matching of points. <coughs> I think my coffee only comes on when I eat something. That's not good, is it? No. <coughs> Which might be you right about your idea about it being your acid reflux. All right, I'll tell the world. Well, I'm sorry, you said earlier. Yeah, I think it is. So no coffee today. What is it? No coffee, no alcohol, no citrus, no... I drink gallons of peppermint tea, and that's one of the worst things for it, apparently. Oh, right. Oh, uh, no. And you have to have your bed, your bed head, raised Higher. up six yeah. inches. And Glenn suffers with it, and he finds if he has too much cheese as well, that sets him off. Oh, I've not heard that. Oh, no, my next door neighbour says that, and crisps. Yeah. Crisps are no good for you. So we're going to press that, but you don't eat cheese, do you? Do I you do eat cheese. You eat cheese. In fact, I was just saying in the break, I fancied a bit of cheese. Say a little bit of what you fancy. Does you good. Yeah, but it's giving me a cough, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going out for lunch today anyway, so I don't want to be eating cheese yet. Are you going somewhere nice for... Well, obviously you are, but... Pardon? Are you going somewhere nice for lunch? Don't know. I mean, to my friend Bonnie in uh, Birmingham. We all usually end up in Carluccio's because we both love it there so much. But, um... 
Yeah. We normally go to the ballet at the theatre in Birmingham at this time of year, and then we go and see two musicals during the year. We haven't been seeing, I don't think we've seen anything this year. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do apologise. You went to see Scylla, didn't you? Was that a musical? Sorry? You went to see Scylla, didn't you? Was oh, that yeah, a yeah, that was a musical, but not, not with Bonnie. But no. I went to see that. Yeah, it was brilliant. The girl playing Scylla Black was just... <gasps> Was it a bit like the, the... It was exactly, like you know, the one, one Sheridan Smith did oh, on the I'm telly. It's that script. It's that, oh, it's that script that's done on the stage. So there's a lot more singing in it. So they've got the Beatles there. They've got different... Not the real Beatles, no. obviously. But boys playing the Beatles and everything. So it's an awful lot more... It's a bit more like Jersey Boys. Because in the um, theatre one, in the TV one, it was mainly about her singing, wasn't it? Whereas yes. this one, there's other people singing as well. But she, the, she, they found her from nowhere. They did open auditions. Really? And she was absolutely brilliant. Right, before, you're just going to press that, aren't you? Yes. Don't do anything else, because I'm going to go and do bundles. OK. All right. Oh, there's a thread on the floor here. Excuse me. Yeah. Right, three bundles. Aqua, which is the one here that Jane is using right now. Half a metre, half a metre each. They're all as, e as popular as each other. You get the aqua, the uh, pale blue and the white. Half a metre each, £9.49. pence. you got this one here, the one that Jane has already made the cushion out of, which is called Golden. They're three linear prints. You get pumpkin, sunshine and... Ebony, I think it is. Fourteen pounds and forty. You don't have to worry about the names because that, that, that's what you get. Oh yeah, like I said earlier, if you on the web, this pumpkin one looks very, very red. Obviously, it's not. That's the one you're going to get. And then the vintage bundle here. Let me. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just just separate that better. Half meter each. Get the spot ons in this one. Two spot ons and a linear vanilla in the middle there at 14 pounds and 49 pence. <coughs> Lots of you got the vintage one in your basket. Please, please, please make sure you check out your basket. Okay, there's the cushion that we're making. Now you're wondering, how do I make those 60 um, degree triangles? Well, you can use a long ruler or you can use this. Much less fiddly. What did I say when I went away? Just do the ironing, don't do anything else. I'm just doing a bit of prep ready. 11 99 fantastic. If, I get, if we get a chance at the end, we'll show you how to, how we used, how we, how Jane used the ruler to, to cut the, the, the triangles out of. I'm what just, are you doing? I'm just making the little strip that I used here. Oh, yes, 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 the, the kind of fake frame. See around the edge here. So that's your 12 inch block there. It's a nine patch 12 inch block there. Then there's this border, then there's another border, and then there's obviously the backing there. So I'll seal that in it. Right. I cut, that's a three quarter inch finish, so I cut it at one and, a, one and a quarter inch strip. Right. And I've cut it the same width as. So it would be 12 and a half 12 and inches. a half. I mean, it may not be quite 12 and a half, it may be a little bit less, but. Just cut it to the same width. Yeah. That's it, does it? Nobody else knows but you. Cheating. And then attach that to the top and the bottom. Now, um, I've got this book, which I absolutely love. It's all about nine patches, but this pattern doesn't come from it. But I think it's a lovely book that if you love your nine patch, it's quite new, this. I think it was when we only launched it last week. It's called the Versatile Nine Patch. And it's gorgeous because what it does, it tells you what a nine patch is, but then it takes you through all different variations. I'll get to them in a second. Here we go, projects. Oh, look. Using a, a basic look. That's the one we did with Lucy the other day. That's a nine patch in the middle of the buttons. You see, look at how the instructions, very, very thorough. Look how gorgeous, these are all using nine patch blocks and just adapting them to fit the, you see, it's amazing. Look, look at, now that looks like a Victorian tile, doesn't it? Dial floor, that one. Um, then it does projects like you're doing um, 
mug rugs and things like that. Gorgeous little quilts there. All used, and I think this is an ideal, look at that bolster with the lovely nine patch um, blocks in there. All how to lay it out. This is all Lucy loves, all the ladybirds on it. Um, it's just fantastic. A really, really, really lovely book with projects and quilting, or lots and lots of quilting tips in it. £21.99. Okay. Lisa says, I have paused TV programs and taken screenshots of rugs, floors, and dressing gowns, then used grid paper to work out the block to recreate the pattern. Yeah. Lisa. You see them everywhere. We were out yesterday um, at a craft fair. That's where we, I got our badges from. Oh, right. I and thought these were especially made for us. No, it's my friend Jane. Just she's, That's her business. That's what she does. Making Christmas badges. Well, and she does other art as well. Oh, okay. She's a graphic designer. Anyway, you were to so. craft there. And um, it was in Leek, which is in Staffordshire. And we were in this lovely building that's obviously been recreated for a, an art centre. And the door plates were like this beautiful art deco brass, like the flower and everything. Mm. And they're just on, the, on this building. And you're just like, wow. And I'm just like, take a picture of that because it's a nice quilt design. <laughs> So we're doing do brass door plate uh, yes. block next. Yeah, on. that's a that's a, a quilting pattern, I think. That's oh, design. rather than the block. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you find inspiration yeah. in all sorts of places. Well, uh, you know, Angie and and Jack Wood. Yeah. She um, has got picture. She goes on holiday and she takes pictures of old door frames and bits of wood and a pebble and things like that, and she comes back and uses them as art. Yeah. And also you can get colour inspiration as well sometimes. You'll see something and you'll like the colour combination. Well, yeah. That? My friend Christine has got the best job. Well, I don't know if she still does it, but she had the best job in the world. She just was paid to travel around the world and take Polaroids, this is how, how long ago it was, of different things like gateposts or the sea and the Caribbean and some of that. And then the people who, in the know, choose the colour for the season, like three or four years. Because I always thought, when, how, when you see the like, spring-autumn collection... Uh, on the catwalks, and everybody's done the same colour. And you think, yeah. how do they all know? They've all picked the same colour. But it's dictated almost what the colours of the seasons are going to be. And the next three or four years are already done yeah. by these people going around the world taking pictures. And I was like, what a perfect job. It's a lovely job, isn't it? And it's like, who then dis who is the one that ultimately well, that, decides? Well, that's the answer, isn't it? We don't that know. The, these are the colours that we're all going to be having next season or yeah. whatever. Anyway. Yes, it fascinates me that they're already thinking about not next Christmas, but the Christmas, Christmas after. And the Christmas after that, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it always just confused me because all the fashion sh shows and all the press shows I'd go to in winter would be the following summer or the following autumn. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. was like that far in advance. Anyway. I'm cutting this strip now at 14. Right. Quilting fascinates me. I'm a dressmaker and don't have the patience to quilt. That's just come from a customer. You I will have, though. Want to look at that. Wouldn't you love to make that? I thought that when I first started here, because dressmaking is my background, and I was like, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't be sitting doing all those squares, but you know what? If I got something like that, I certainly would. And you'll find a lot of quilters, patchworkers, will say, oh, gosh, no, I couldn't do dressmaking. That's too complicated for me. It's weird, And the dressmakers it? go, well, no, it's easy. You just yeah. follow the pattern. And we go, oh, no, it's easy. It's just straight stitches and squares. So I'm going to... My seam allowance, I think, is a little bit out on this, but I'm just going to line that up. I'm going to ignore that bit there that's a little bit wonky. Yeah, you haven't it'll, seen that bit yet. It'll, straight, it'll straighten it up. This is why adding a, a little border on is oh, quite not, forgiving. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Right. It's just gone off a little yeah. bit there. Chris, my teacher, she calls them coping strips when you put bits on to make... You can either make your square bigger or add a border on just to tidy it up. And she calls you what? Calls it a coping strip. Coping. I need one of those in life. Thanks to help you cope with, yeah. <laughs> with everything. I'm all right now. We've had the full moon. I'm all right now. The bad mood's gone. I was in such a bad mood the other day. Oh. It's amazing, isn't it, that that planet affects people so much? It's not just that one, but that really, that one is, because it's in Gemini, which is my birth sign. But, um... Uh, Amazing, if you believe in things like that, that is. But it, it, well, it, if it, it makes our tides, doesn't it? Yes, the so moon the does, moon, yeah. moon pulls our tides, and if you think we're made up of 80% water, yeah, it's going to affect us, isn't so it? So, Tanner and Little Paul, they're made of 80% gin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't even react to that one. Normally, she reacts. 
Maybe she's not, not listening. There. Maybe she's gone away. Oh, she's bored her. Oh, she's busy, apparently. What's she doing? Yeah, but yes, you're right. So, so if a moon can create a, a, those huge oceans, tides of huge oceans, what's it do to us with our 80% water yeah. exactly? That's where the word lunatic comes from, isn't it? Mm. Luna. Lu the word lunatic. Oh, thanks! No, but it's like that's because oh, we're yes, affected by the moon. I didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of that. When I used... And it's not a very nice subject. I know, oh, here but, we go. But when I used to work at the hospital, they, the A&E department would be busier on um, the full moon with oh, really? people with issues, mental health issues. Oh, wow. And they'd know that they were going to be busier. I've never, I've never heard that before, but it's... It, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, Do you want to press it? Yes, I'll press See, it. See, I like it. I wasn't too keen on that blue one, I have to say, while we, was, while we, while we were stitching it, <laughs> while we were putting it together. But now it's all together and you've got that border on. I'm actually really liking it now. This will look lovely in Hannah, Hannah's window seat as she's overlooking the ocean from our front room. Oh. So, obviously, I've cut that to... That's yeah, that doesn't matter because you're going to square that off I with another square it pan, off, aren't you? Yeah. Um, and so, on this one, I cut... Um, two inch wide strip, so that's going to For the end. next bit. For the next one, so it will end at one it, and a half. For this bit, for the extra bit after the orange. I can't reach around there, so you see. Do you want me to do that? Put that on? Yeah, go on then, that's right. What time is it? Oh, you're 10.40, you've got fine. Um, if you're um, wondering about any of the tools that we've used today, we're going to do a sum up at the end of my last hour. I'm going to do a sum up of all the tools and, and, and things that all of the, the experts have used today. So I'm just cutting it at two inches. I think I just made the cushion size to the size of cushion that I had. I don't oh, okay. think there was any sort of... Is that your cushion in there, then? No. Oh. I, for... yeah, I forgot, forgot the cushion. Honestly, we've had a day of forgetting, haven't oh, we, today? I, know. I think, I don't know why, but I didn't sleep very well last night, and I was, ma I was making that that quilt in my head and I kept thinking have I got enough pieces have I got to make kept oh going dear. round and round in my head it's very strange I just had some cheese before you went to bed what did we have for tea oh yes we did we had cheese and onion pies oh oh but we'd been to this um to the craft, craft fair. fair and there was in Leek there was this beautiful street market and they got all this gorgeous food and things on oh Leek did they have Leek? was there not Leek and cheese pie Probably was, but we had cheese and onion. It was very nice. What did you have it with? Um, sweet potato chips and peas. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Glenn made it. Glenn I should hope the, so. Glenn does all the cooking in our Does he? Yeah, he's also good. We have nothing Which else is, to do, I see, apart from run marathons. Yeah, be a retained firefighter. And he what, what? He's a retained firefighter as well. A retained firefighter? Yeah, part-time. Oh, Follow, it's not, well, it's I've got a calendar with the West Yorkshire... <laughs> it, no, you're not in West Yorkshire, are you? With all the West Yorkshire firefighters on. It's to raise money for charities, one of my charities. Um, it, it's, I was supposed to... Because each month I was supposed to put the 1st of December up and then somebody put it away. I put it out the other day and someone's put it away. Um, has he got a proper job as well? Yeah, he's a night manager. Oh, but not the night manager. No, oh, no. no. But he is a night manager. So he works nights. Oh, so you don't get to see him much then? No, he oh, works quite, quite well. Yeah. <laughs> no, anyway. I spend the evenings with him because he doesn't start work till half ten. Do what? I spend the evening with him because he starts work oh, at half ten. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I love Jane's way of teaching. She's so calm and knowledgeable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's really nice. Oh, June! She says, I feel as though she's holding my hand. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Oh. I think you don't have to worry too much about it because it's never a mistake it's just another design isn't it you know at the end of the day only you know what it was supposed exactly. to look like to start with exactly. now the 60 degree ruler i'm being told down to single figures sorry i didn't give you any um, warning about that Eleven ninety-nine, down to single figures fabulous what time is it? oh about 10 minutes it's nice like... this not to be rushing, isn't it? Yeah. You could, of course, do your combination of colours in a different way. You don't have to do 
what I've done. No, you exactly. can change the combination. You could have the, the dark turquoise as the the points of the star and have your light, your aqua. Is it aqua, that lighter one? Is that aqua? It's the bundle that's called aqua. I'm not quite sure if that's turquoise and aqua. Oh, I can tell you. Oh, I can tell you, actually. It's optical white, turquoise and aqua. There you go. Yeah, so the aqua could be your background and then you could have the dark yes. as your middle and your edging or Which any combination you, you want, to. want to have. Who was it, Hannah? It's just, I missed me flicking through the Versatile Nine patch. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. Uh, gorgeous photographs. And basically, it takes a nine patch, traditional nine patch, and turns it into all this, you know, just, <coughs> excuse me, swaps and changes it around to create beautiful uh, other nine patch blocks. So there's lots and lots of information to start with. And then, of course, you go on, to, oh, look at those. They look gorgeous, just folded up like that. I know. Gorgeous colours, aren't they? I love the nine patch block. I just think it's a really versatile block, and, and quite a lot of the traditional quilt patterns are made up of nine patch blocks. Yes. Because you can use the units in so many combinations, mm. it's just lovely. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? Just really, really. They uh, got a plique in there and everything like that. Lots of different ideas. Um, uh, and projects were like bags and bolster cushions and things like that. Got the layout, it's got everything you need. Half square triangles within the nine patch there, you see. There's so much going on. And then all the information at the back and things. Well, that's beautiful, that one. That's nice. That's nice. There's lots of little nine patches all together, is it, that one? Yeah. We've got 21 pounds and 99 pence. Hope that was good for you, Leslie. So I've put 14 inch-ish yes. strip along the top and the mm -hmm. bottom and then Measure it again, 17, well, it's 16 and a half. It's going to look lovely. It's on your window seat, isn't it, Hannah? 16 and three. Well, there's one already made here, so you only have to make one. She wants two. Oh, right. I'll quickly whiz you one up. Yeah. She could do this. She could. Do this in no time, Hannah. Yeah. Hannah. Well, you haven't at the moment, really, have you? She's got lots of time on her hands at the moment. She's not busy. No. She's not mad if you're rushing around getting Christmas presents. Don't tell me she's one of these people that's got all her presents already and wrapped them all up. No. Thank goodness for that. All the ones from her friends abroad, yes. they've all gone. So she went into the post office in her village last week and she had a parcel for Korea, one for America, one for Brazil, one for Cuba. There was another one that I didn't know you'd been to, another country. Oh, Czech Republic. And she confused the lady in the post office. I want to post these! And the lady in the post office just stared at her. Lovely, gentle show today. Have learnt loads. Thank you. That's from Georgina in Warwickshire. That's nice. Thank you, Georgina. That's nice, isn't it? Thank you. Somebody said, put on Facebook the other day, I'm very erratic as you a presenter. Are. Yes. Some days I'm way too loud and some days I'm way too quiet. Does it depend on who you're presenting with? Say that again. Does it present, depend on who you're... Presenting with as to. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know I did it. Oh, right. I just wonder whether sometimes the character of the, of oh, the okay. person so you're, you're with. Oh, you're confirming now that I'm very erratic as a no, presenter. No, I don't think you are erratic, but I just wonder if sometimes you can pick up on the other person. Yes. And I that can affect so. how you are. Uh, they say that says I'm erratic from minute to minute. <laughs> Honestly, they don't realise. It doesn't help, I can imagine, with having somebody talking in your ear telling you to do... Oh, I don't take any notes. ...one thing that. or another. No, I know. <coughs> Is it hard to concentrate when you've got them talking this to you? Just when they're wittering with loads of rubbish. On real telly, they're not allowed to do that. <laughs> so there we go, we we'll press that, and that's... Oh, I love it. Isn't that. that funny? Because I really, like I say... I, I love this one, and I wasn't too sure of this, but now that they've given... In the aqua, this is the aqua here. I think it's looking gorgeous. As I say, you could change it round. You could have your aqua as your star, but I thought that was a little bit sort of frosty Christmassy-ish. Oh, I'm seeing summer. Yes. Now I've done it, I'm thinking Mediterranean <coughs> yes, seaside. Yes, holidays. Yeah. So now, um, if you make one of these... Yes. Is there enough... 
of this colour to make the backing? Because I notice you've used the um, pumpkin on yours. Yeah. I wonder why that was. Shall I say? You can if you like. I got myself into a bit of a rubble sorting out the making these units because yeah. previous... Because there's no instructions, are there? You just have to make There's a up. little bit, but previous to using this lovely triangle, which yes. makes life so much easier, I've always used um, a ruler. There's only six of those triangles left now, but... I've always used one of these rulers, and you have to make um, your, your square... Um, you need to add one and a... You need to add three quarters onto the width of your square, and then you add to add seven eighths of an inch on to the length of yeah. it. So I started off thinking I knew how to do it with those size strips, and then it wouldn't work. And I was like, well, why won't it work? And then I read the instructions. Yes, <laughs> and realised how simple it was. And with how this easy ruler. it was with this ruler. So I wasted quite a bit of fabric. So you didn't practice on Kanika or anything like no, that? No, I should have done, shouldn't I? It's family, whizzed into family it. Family fabric. Yeah. So, but there'd be enough of this if you <coughs> wanted to back it in the blue, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, there would. Or, the, or that paler blue, in yes, fact. Yes, there'd be plenty of that, because we haven't actually used yes. very much of that fabric. But, yeah, you, you would have plenty to do your, your backing. I think that's lovely. Lorraine, morning, John and Jane. She's been out since 8 o'clock, so much catch-up. What have I missed? Or oh, you'll have to wait and see. You missed a fabulous show. Question about the... Oh, the nine o'clock extra special sold out. It was that lovely... Oh, it's, I haven't got any more. The little iron, it sold out, sold out. I think it's because somebody might have put the wrong price on, but there you go. Anyway, well done if you got, got it. Got a bargain. Was. Right, OK. Um, I have to keep going. It's got six minutes left, Jane. All right. Oh, you can see what it would look like with a different middle. I don't know if you can see that that makes like a different arrow shape. Oh, yes. Overall. Yeah, because that, be, that would be like... Right up against the edge, yeah. You'd get the points. You'd get the point, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? That makes sort of an arrow. And you could, if you wanted to, you could have made these points on this triangle in the aqua, and then you'd have had... That would have really confused you. Yes. So what you could do is, if you did have... If you were just making a quilt top, you could do each one slightly different using yeah. the different colours, couldn't you? You could if you wanted to, and, and you could mix it up. You could keep the block, but you could change the middles. Yes. It? So but if you were making it into a, a quilt, would you put a sashing or a border like this before you put the next one, or would you put the... Again, you can do... You could. You could put sashing in between the blocks, or you could put the blocks together. And if you put the blocks together... Have I got a... You yeah, haven't got any more left. You've used them all. But if you put the blocks together, you'd end up with like this diamond shape going on here. Oh, yes. So by putting the blocks together, you get a secondary, uh, yes, 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 secondary yes, yes, yes. pattern. And have you quilted? Have you quilted the front? Yeah, uh, just in the ditch. Well, I've, I've echo quilted the middle square. Right. And then I just... Um, sorry, sorry, just sorry. To... Echo quilted the middle square, so by, by just going quarter of an inch inside. Right. And then just quilted in the ditch around the star and around either side of the border. So. There's wadding and calico. It's got a calico. Oh, okay, so you put a calico. I was going to say, because I can't feel any wadding in there. No. So, you've got a layer, so you made a sandwich yes. before you made the cushion. You made a sandwich of the block. Yes. Some wadding. And so it's quite fine calico, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. It's oh, now, quilting calico. Well, yeah, it's, it's calico that I have in the shop. Yeah. So I just took a square and, and used that just because it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. So you no, could exactly. use, you could so, add, use but, any old fabric. But that, well, you could put any old fabric in there. I and mean, it's Tilly Rose Vintage say, oh, I just took a sheet off the bed and cut a square out of it. Yeah. But, um, but that, that's quite good because sometimes you get, you get a, a cushion that's been patchwork and quilted and you put your hand in and you can feel the back of the wadding inside. Yes. Whereas this way, the wadding's completely and yes. utterly um, encased. I mean, you it? can do it without, without anything on, on the back. I mean, it's not... Well, also, if you're going to wash it as well, yeah. the wadding's kind of... Set, um, yeah, it might fluff, might um, dis not disintegrate, but um, pile if yes. you haven't got anything sort of... So you've just stitched in the ditch on all of there, have you? Yes. Now, uh, we've got a question... Uh, would you, uh, it came in earlier, would you um, wash fab tend to wash fabrics before you work with them? I don't. Um, there's, again, there's two schools of thought. There are people that wouldn't even consider starting to cut their fabric until they'd washed it and, and dried it and ironed it. 
and then there's people like me that are too impatient and just want to get on and just cut it. And, and so just, now, what happens if it's a fabric you don't know? Because if you make a quilt for a bed, it's all right if you're doing a wall hanging because it's kind of safe, isn't it? But if you're making a quilt for a bed, or for uh, on the if she goes on Hannah's sofa, it's going to get red wine on it if little Paul comes round yeah. or something like that. <laughs> it's going to have to be washed at some point. Yes. Um, because I know when you take it, when you take a, a, a one, one, I took one of mine to at the cleaners, and you have to sign a thing to say, you know, you're taking the responsibility. So if the colours run or anything like that, if there's a fabric you've never used before, would you test the colour running of yeah. it first? If I've got a very dark fabric, for example, the, the navy on there, yes. I would get um, a cotton bud with just a, a bob of water on it and I would just like sketch on no the top. No soap, just water? Just water. Yeah. Not even warm water, just cold water. And it rub it and it would just... If it comes off, you know then that it's got the chance of running. And in that case, I would probably wash it first. Right. And like the red, when I did the red and the white quilt, I tested yes. that as well just to see, because otherwise but, you'd end up with a pink quilt. Well, now also, but imagine if you did that, right? You made that, and then someone spilt, if you had it as a lap quilt, somebody spilt their dinner down it or something, put it in the washing machine, and that blue, would it, that blue won't, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we haven't had anybody tell us that the linear runs, because it's a print on the top of it, but... Imagine if you made that and then you put it in the washing machine, the blue ran and all your colours got blue on them. Yeah, it would be heartbreaking. But you can put those colour catches yes, in the wash. Yes, you can. Wash. You're a very advocate for colour thingies and colour catches. Right. I'm going to go and do um, summing up. Thank you ever so much. You're very welcome. See you in next Monday. Yeah. Do you know what you do? Don't tell us, but do you know no, what it is? I don't. Is it that special one next it Monday? Might be. I'm going to find out now what I'm going to be doing. Oh, come and wave at me and tell me which one it is. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Take care. Right, and thank you for my badge. I haven't got to give it back, have I? You haven't got to give it back to her. Triangular ruler. Very, very, very limited. Oh, shh. Very, very, very limited now. How many have I got? Three left. Three of these left. That's all I've got. Ooh, Jay's bringing all lots of goodies onto the table. Nice. Oh, right, got to get a move on. Right, three bundles. Three bundles. We've got the one Jane just used, which is the aqua bundle. Half a metre of each, the aqua, the turquoise, and the white. Oh, graphics are jammed. There we go. Oh, no, there you go. Nine pounds and 49 pence. We've got the one that Jane made at home, which is the golden star. We get half a metre of each of them, the pumpkin, the sunshine, and the um, grey one. And then last but not least, the vintage one, where you get a half a metre of spot on, half a metre of linear vanilla, and half a metre of darker green spot on. £14.49. Oh, I've got to go. I'll be back in, uh, after break. Got brand spanking new fabrics. And I'm going to be recapping on a lot of the tools that have been used on today's show. Jay hasn't been told that yet. He's most probably put them all away. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Shop with us this Sunday and Monday and you'll receive a free thread pack worth $8.99 with your first order over £10. To thank you for your first sewing quarter purchase, we'll include this pack of seven Gutterman sew wool threads designed to match the Fenton House fabric range. It includes beautiful jewel tones on 100 metre spools. Made from 100% polyester, this strong thread is great quality, colour fast and guaranteed not free. It's ideal for both machine and hand sewing. So shop now at www.sewingquarter.com and claim your free threads when you spend just £10. Hello, my name is Paul Clark and these are my three top tools. Okay, my first top tool is scissors. You can never have too many good pairs of scissors. You want as good quality as you can get, nice and sharp, because 
if you're buying quality fabric, you don't want to be messing up your fabric by scissors that are just going to chew it to pieces. So invest in a good pair, make sure they're sharp. Don't bother with getting them resharpened, just buy more. My second top tool is a good quality iron. Especially with dressmaking, you are going to be pressing every seam that you make. So it's always good to have a good iron nearby. These are really handy because uh, these can happen on your worktop and uh, they don't take up too much room. My third top tool is storage. Um, this can come in many sizes. This sort of storage is ideal for loads of little buttons because I tend to buy my buttons in bulk and then sort them all out into little boxes like this. Join us for some festive fun on Wednesday the 6th of December for these adorable new reindeer toys from star designer Joe Carter. Featured in the current issue of Simply Sewing magazine, our brand new kit includes enough materials to make both Rudolph and his reindeer friend, along with Joe's expert instructions. They'll make the perfect Christmas gift for children in your family and for big kids too. So don't miss Joe Carter's brilliant show at 10am on Wednesday, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So here I am in the archives of the Quilters Guild of the British Isles. And look at this. We have got such a scoop for you, the Sewing Quarter viewers. You will not believe what we're getting. You see all the gorgeous fabrics that this quilt is made out of. Well, we are going to bring you the fabrics to recreate this gorgeous period quilt. This quilt is so precious, I'm not even allowed to touch it, but I can touch the fabrics that we're bringing to you. And do you know what? I've got a bit of a favourite already. So sometime in the near future, you will be able to buy these gorgeous reproduction fabrics. They are stunning. Now, I can't tell you the date yet, but keep your eyes peeled for the adverts because very soon, here on Sewing Quarter, we are gonna have these exquisite fabrics. Coming soon. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really lovely fabrics. Anyway, anyway, premieres, premieres, premieres. Now, in this hour as well, I am going to recap some of the tools that the designers have used today because we haven't really shown them because we were so busy watching them do their art that um, I will recap some of them uh, if they haven't sold out uh, later on. Anyway, let's start with some premieres. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as I did yesterday. If you're watching yesterday, I've got four different fabrics in three different colorways. So I'm going to show you each of the three. Oh, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean, right? I love this, right? I love this. So, I think this print is adorable. Look, these are first because these are Hannah's favorites. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, I'll do them one at a time. I just want to show you the three different colorways because yesterday what it was, I had uh, distinct favorites within the colorways. But what I'll do is I'll show you each of these colorways. Right, this is lovely, look. It's from the Jitterbug, all from the Jitterbug range, this. 100% cotton. Oh, that's nice. I'll hold it up for you in a second. Amy Reba. Now, you can go to our website. There's lots and lots of information on her website. She's married to her, a retired US Marine. She's got three children. They are her life. And then she loves colour. She loves fabric. She loves texture. Aren't they lovely? So this is the aim. This is Red Bud. Etta fabric. So Red Bud is the colour and Etta is the design. It's nice, isn't it? Let me hold it up. You've got pink and gold and look. That is lovely, isn't it, from a distance like that? And then close two again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful print. See, 6 99 for half a metre. We love, we love, we love, we love, right? Okay, so that's the first one. That's the Etta. Uh, yes, Etta. Uh, no, red, uh, red bud in Etta. 
Let me just move those to one side. This is where it gets a bit confusing because the names sort of swap and change a lot, but I'll, be with you. I'll stay with you. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, right. This one is Chicory Etta. So Chicory is the color, Etta is the design. We love the Chicory. Wasn't there a pop group in the 60s called Chicory something? Seem to remember, or seem to remember being told. Chicory Etta fabric from the Jitterbug range. Isn't it lovely? Isn't that lovely? I love the design of this one. Okay. I know what's going to happen. I can see, and I can't see. Hannah's telling me people are in their baskets already. But um, I can't see, I can't see that. But uh, uh, but the same has happened yesterday. People put in their basket and then make their decision, so please be careful. Right, and then this one. Beautiful. Look at that one. Look at that from a distance. This one is the Etta fabric again. That's the design. Jessamine. Jessamine, this one's called. It's lovely, isn't it? Hydrangeas, that's what I thought they looked like as well. It could be, uh, what is an etta then? Is an etta not a hydrangea? There's a singer called etta, isn't there? Right, okay. So that is the, uh, they're the etta. They're the etta range. Now, next one is this one. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, hang on, that's not that one. That's not that one. One, two, three. There you go. It's got a bit out of order. There we go. That's that one. Look. Oh, oh I love those together. Now, isn't it funny? Look at they're the same print, but in different colours. And look how different they look. Look at that one in the middle, how different that looks. Anyway, let's start with the green one. Oh, this is nice. This is fresh. This is vibrant. Look. This is called, the color is chicory, and the fabric is Carolina. Or Carolina, however you want to say it. It's nice, isn't it? Because they've, they've done like um, layers of printing, haven't they? That's beautiful. So the color is chicory. I'm going to call it Carolina rather than Carolina. Carolina, I'm going to call it. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that, that, yeah, see, I knew that one would be popular going straight into baskets, that one. So now I've got it in the reds. Very rich, gorgeous, vibe. Oh, now look, it looks completely different from a distance, look. This is red bud, right? This is the red bud color. Carolina fabric. See how different that looks close up to it to a distance. 6.99 for half a meter. Now on the web image, it looks, uh, it looks a bit paler than it does here. It's lovely, lovely, rich colors in there. I'll describe all the colors for you later. And then this one here, this one I think looks very Jaeger. Or the essence of Jaeger, this one. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Then look at the colours. As you come in to look at the colours. Do you know what? I can see kind of the trim on a very smart suit being done in this. Or a blouse. Or the lining of a little box jacket. Or, you know the um, reversible box jacket that we do? Uh, cloth kits. Be nice if you did a plain navy blue and then that as the, as the other side of it. That's the other side of it. So that is the um, Jessamine Carolina. That's a Carolina fabric. Right, now, I've got another uh, fabric now. Now, these are lovely. These are slightly different again, but look. Again, the gorgeous, vibrant colours. Three different colorways again. Look. Oh, I think I've got one going in opposite directions, the other two. Yeah. 
Nice, isn't it? Now, I don't know if it's making your telly move or not. Right, let's start with this one. So this is the green, blue, and yellow one. So I'm presuming this will be chicory, but I don't know. I might be wrong. Oh, oh I love that. Oh, I really, really, really like this one. This is the chicky, sassafras. Oh, I think that's lovely. It, well, it looks like you see that, that where are you there? Where are you? Um, it looks like that, that's an underneath print and then they put like the leaf blotches on top of it. I don't quite sure. Sh 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 she uses nature as her inspiration. It's lovely. It's, it's free spirit cotton. So it's good quality, good quality cotton. They work, free spirit work with some amazing. And met, right, that's been checked out already, that one. Being checked out already. Yeah, now remember yesterday with the indigos and all the blues yesterday were the first ones to sell out. Right, then I've got it in. Ooh, this is bold. This is in red, bud. Oops. Nice, it's not just move it. There you go. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to waft it. You're thinking blinds. Ooh, no, I'm thinking like top, top end fashion, me. It is lovely, isn't it? Look. Okay, so that one there is the red bud sassafras from the Jitterbug range, Amy Reba, six ninety nine for half a meter. Obviously, the pieces I'm wafting are a meter. I think I think you'll find it's forty four inches wide, but I'll just double check for you. Forty four inches wide. It's lovely, isn't it? Really gorgeous quality cotton that one. And then the last colourway this comes in. Look. This one is um, jessamine sassafras. I just moved across because we could see the salvage there. And the, so I just wanted to fill the whole screen with that was all. Six ninety nine for half a meter. That's lovely, isn't it? Let me just waft it for you. Love the colours in there because they're colours that you wouldn't automatically think of putting together, aren't they? You've got a pale pink and a fuchsia pink. You've got a navy blue. You've got or French blue. You've got orange. You've got cream. You've got an ivory. Six ninety nine for half a meter. That's lovely, isn't it? Say that again. Oh, Tim was trying to make a joke. Okay, so that's three of the four ranges. Now this one, I love this one. Love, 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 love this one. I'll show you. Sorry, show you the three colours first. Look, this is beautiful. Three different colourways there. Aren't they lovely? So let's start off with the navy blue background one. Love it. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Isn't it? I'm seeing summer dresses or lovely palazzo pants. Or from the book, the Capri pants from the book. Yeah, they're gorgeous, gorgeous. Now remember, if you need more than a meter and a half, you do have to ring the call centre. I'll find out. Oh, oh, do you know what? After today, I'm not in again till next Monday. Not in again till now. I'm, I don't know. Not in again till next Monday. So I was going to say I'll find out for you, but I won't be able to find out for you. I'll find out for you in time for next Monday whether they've Dev has fixed that thing. 
Right, this one. Yes, he's got a bald head. I've met him. He's on holiday all the time, it seems, in New York at the moment. That's lovely, that one from a distance. Oh, look. Chelsea fabric. Oh, now Chelsea. We haven't had a Chelsea. This is Chelsea in the red bud. So the last one must be called Chelsea, was it, as well? I got a bit confused then. I was so busy wafting and loving that last blue one. But this is Chelsea. Red bud is the colour. So what was that one called there, then? Oh, don't worry, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. And then the last but not least now. Last but not least. We'll see when we put this one in, the green background one. Yeah, they are Chelsea. I just didn't read it in the last one. We thought maybe her daughters were called Ches Chelsea, Carolina, and Jessamine. That's what we were thinking. That's nice. Isn't that just gorgeous? Jessamine, now the Chelsea fabric is the name of the design. Jessamine is the colour. Not that it matters if you love it. This one's gorgeous. This is my favourite, that's why it's last. And then look at it from a distance again. Isn't it? It's just something about it, isn't there? Six ninety nine, half for me, 100% cotton. Machine washable. Right, now, isn't that funny? Yesterday, when I did brand new fabrics yesterday, the greens and the blues flew out the door. Same thing happening today. Exactly. Same thing happening today. What was that funny noise? Did you have that funny noise? Oh, Do you know, oh no, it was in there, it was not here, it was in here. It was like, you know, there's um, for mash get smash men like that. That's what it said, that's, anyway. So where shall I go next then, do you reckon? Chicory Chelsea is this one I'm imagining. It's gone now, it's gone now, it's gone now. By far the most popular already the Chicory Chelsea. This is obviously a metre that I'm showing you here. <coughs> By far the most popular so far. My mum would have loved that one. She'd have really, really loved that one. She loved emerald green. She loved navy blue. Okay. So be careful. If you've got that one in your basket... Please, please, please be careful. Now, if you want to see any of them next to each other, I've got some spectrum solids here. If you want me to show you them next to them, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick... I'm just going to put them all out like this. OK. Oh, somebody's asked what fabric was made in the dressmaking. Um, it's a Pontaroma a jersey. I'll get it out. For, I'll get Jay to get it out, and I'll do that when I do my shop over there. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have been given some of these... Um... No, over there in the shop, yeah. Right, OK, so I'm just... just bear with me, bear with me. You have a look at these, right? I'm just seeing which ones... Let me see, that one's nice. That one's nice. That one's too yellow. Oh, shush. Right. OK. So, I'm going to do a bit of mixing and matching now. So, I've got this pink. There's only, it's the only pink, so it's flamingo, yeah? Right? Oh! OK. Maybe I've mixed this one. No, no. It's the only pink. Look. <coughs> Could you, you couldn't, um, Jay, you couldn't go and ask for the spectrum solid in navy blue and the spectrum solid in dark blue. Could you, please? Thank you. Uh, that's lovely. So this is the spectrum solid in Flamingo, 325. This is Etta fabric in the Jessamina colour range. 
That's the only one I'd put with this, with this pale pink. I don't think it'd match any other. Oh, 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 I tell a fib. I tell a fib. Let me just have a look at this one. No, 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 no. That's the only one I put with the with the pale pink, right? So I'll put the I'll put the flamingo. No, it's not your yeah, flamingo there. Right, then I've got this, which I think is port. Or is it is it um we do another drink, don't we? What's the other drink we do? Port, it is port. What's the one that you think's uh, I want to say violin, but that's not right, is it? Claret, clarinet, that's it. So look at those two together. This is Carolina fabric. In the Jessamina, that's lovely. And then that there is the um, Macau in port. That's nice. Okay, now I'm also going to put another one with the port now. And that's this one here. Ooh, that's nice. That one's nice, look. So you've got the port still there. But then look at that with it. It says sassafras in the red bud. I think that looks very, very elegant. Gives it a completely different, um, completely different look, doesn't it, when you mix it with the spectrum solid. Right, then I've got emerald green in the spectrum solids. Ooh, now so many. That one. Oh, 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 oh. That's nice, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? So it's emerald green in the spectrum solid. Oh, sorry, it's foliage. Oh. Oh, now, mm. Let me just check the code on it. Oh, I, I'm, I could be totally wrong. I could be talk, talking through my bottom as per usual, but I thought that was emerald, but no, it's foliage. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is foliage. I take that back. I do apologize. I just said that was an emerald, but it's gorgeous. Don't they look lovely? Oh, there's a big crease in it there, but, you know. Let me, let me fold that to, to there. There you go. Oh, the, the crease on the other side. I think they look stunning together. So you've got, that's foliage green. I also think our emerald green would work with it. And then you've got the uh, chicory in the Carolina fabric, which is very, very popular. But then also, I could mix the ch uh, with the green. Same with the green. This one's going to look nice with the fo uh, uh, foliage green. Let me turn that fabric around to get rid of the... Um... There we go. There you go. Look. Ooh, ooh they look nice together, don't they? That, that's not... Navy, I wanted navy blue and dark blue. Three bags, that's lovely. I love those two together. Now, also, I think the green's going to go with these fabrics, which are hugely popular. Look. <sighs> Excuse me. This is Chelsea in the chicory, I'm imagining. Don't they look gorgeous together? So this is Chelsea in chicory, and this is foliage green. Okay. Lovely, isn't that one? That's the most popular. But also, I wonder if it would look nice. Oh, yes. That one sets off nicely, doesn't it? That one there. That's the foliage. Now, this is Chelsea in... Um, <laughs> Hannah's just making up the names now. Jessamina. That's lovely. They work really beautiful together, don't they? 
There you go. That's Jessamina in Chelsea. If you want any of these wafting, just send us in a message and I'll waft them for you as well. They look gorgeous together, don't they? That's in the foliage. Now, um, okay, let's put that one there. Let's put that. I'll, I'll do the other cut. I'll do the bright orange first. This is vibrant, vibrant orange, this one. Might be a little bit too bright. Let me just have a look. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, that one there. That one there. It's a completely different look. A completely and utterly different look. Because I'd put the. Is this one called Bright Orange? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That, so that's bright orange there. That's the spectrum solid. And then look at that gorgeous mayhem of a design there. It's red bud, is it? No, it's not red bud. Red bud's this one. Isn't red bud this one? This is the one that's not red bud and not chicory. There it is. Jessamina Safras. They look lovely. Now, you see, and wouldn't normally... You know what I mean? That, that's, a, that's a very, very bold orange. But you know what? With that, it, brings, it kind of brings it down, doesn't it? Beautiful. Right, OK. Now I asked Jay to get me a navy blue and a dark blue. This one first, which is KRMY45. Is it all right? <coughs> no? Yep, that's fine. Dark blue, and the other one's navy, yep. Look, it's like a French blue, this one. That's lovely, isn't it? So that's some um, dark blue, and then... But I'll just bring in the navy so you can see how darker the navy is. The navy works with it as well. But I'll just do this one first of all. So that's, that's dark blue. Then this is uh, chicory in the Etta fabric. They look lovely, don't they? But if you don't want the French blue, leave the chicory in, bring that out. Oh, you can't, sorry, I'm telling them what to do. Okay, then this is navy blue. Do you want the coat? XGMY65, sorry. XGM for mother, Y for youthful, 65. Um, sorry, I, this is my fault because I've added these afterwards, but I'm causing Hannah grief upstairs. So that's navy blue. Navy blue. If the graphics don't come in, you can get it on the website. Okay, navy blue is on the website. And then that there is the chicory... Um, That's the chicory etafab. That looks nice, doesn't it? But I'm going to keep the navy blue, even though I can't put it. Um, it's on the web, the, the navy blue. I'll just do a couple. I'll just do a couple with it. Look. How elegant is that? The navy blue. It's Chelsea in the Jessamina, this one. And then you've got the na uh, navy blue. That's beautiful, isn't it? Love that, because you've got, because with the chicory, you've just got the blues and the greens, which is lovely, but then this one, you've got the blues and greens, then there's splashes of the pink and the orange in there as well. Six pounds and 99 pence for half a meter. 100% cotton from Free Spirit. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, so if there's anything you want to see with anything else, then just let me know. Now, I'm not sure that I mix and match any of... I, I might keep... You see, I love some of these fabrics with the same one in the different... 
what am I trying to say? Yesterday, we put all the colour ranges together, so I could put the, the different colour range, but I don't think they work with this one, because I think they're all too individual. But if you put three of the same fabric together, I think they work beautifully. So if you see these, for example, look, you see, I think those three in a project together would look gorgeous together. I can only, I, this is, this is um, Red Bull, Bud, Bud, Red Bud in the Etta fabric. This is Chicory in the Etta fabric. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of, I think they work together beautifully like that, but I wouldn't necessarily mix any of these with any of the other patterns from the range. I mean, you might, you might be different. You might love them together. The bottom one there is in the jessamine. So that's the jessamine, the chicory, and the red bud. You see, I think those three look gorgeous together. Okay, lovely. <coughs> Fabulous. Right, I did say that I was going to be um, summing up a lot of the um, tools and um, accessories that the designers had used. I'll just tie to the desk, then I might go over to the John Scott Haberdashery shop. If that's all right with everybody else. Just tidy up a little bit. Uh, you're not in charge, Timothy. That's fine. Going out for lunch today, so I could go and have my friend Bonnie. These two. Uh, Chicory Chelsea, I'll show you. This, these two are the most popular of the whole collection. This one here is Chicory Chelsea. It's lovely, isn't it? So that's Chicory Chelsea. So that and the other Chelsea, very much in the lead at the moment. Jessamina, this one will be, won't it? Yeah, getting in now. It's only taken half an hour. It's lovely, isn't it? Fabulous, as Craig Revel Hallwood would say. Right, okay, I'm gonna go and do then. Ooh. I'll come back to these, don't worry, I will come back to these. I'm just gonna go over to my John Scott shop over there. So I'll take this with me, and I'll take this with me in case anybody sends any questions in. So, right, before I, do some, before I show you something that the designers have used, I've just been handed these uh, magic clips. I think Jay's been practicing on, on, with the, with the um, stripology ruler there. Right. Now, I've never seen these before, but they're amazing, right? I'll get the one that's open. Oh, have we got what? Oh yeah, there's, there's a small, small and large, 12 piece small, 12 piece big. Now, did you say we had um, a little film? Oh, okay, we haven't got a little film. Okay, so if you look, they've got easy to read markings. This one's already open, that's why the package looks a bit tatty. On the actual clip, you've got quarter inch, half inch and five eighths of an inch. Now they're like wonder clips, except you can keep them in while you're doing your stitching. Now I'm not saying you have to stitch over them. Um, how did they get them out with that? Oh, there we go. There you go. So it's like a wonder clip, you see. So you can, <coughs> excuse me. So look, 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 look. Oh, we've got a little film too, but I, I actually show the film and then I can carry, I can add to the film afterwards, can't I? So 12 of the big ones are 15 pounds and 99 pence. Have a look. Have a look at this. So you've got, you keep the clips in the fabric, but you don't have to take them out. Look, because you're sewing beyond there. Oh, that's it, is it? I was expecting a nice fully featured film there. So if you sit here, you clip your fabric in here. Clip your fabric in there, and then you can see on here, oh, there you go. Quarter inch, half inch, five eighths of an inch is a rough guide. But as you saw in the little film, you could clip that onto your fabric. Like that. 
And then what it is, is if you see... Um, OK, now let me work this out. You make sure the needle clears the clip by one eighth of an inch. So the, the needle has to go here. Oh, I see. So this line is a quarter. I see now. So now, so no, no, no. So here, that's your quarter inch seam. Move it along to the next mark. That's your half inch seam. So if you stitch here, and you don't have to take them out while you're stitching, and then that one there is your five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So if you stitch literally an eighth of an inch inside from here, you don't have to take the clips out while you're sewing. That's brilliant, isn't it? I think the quarter inch one is excellent because you're going to hold it, everything in place and then you can do a little quarter inch seam there. Nice. So they're the large ones. They're the large ones. You get um, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, six blue and six green in the large one. But we also sell it in the small one if you don't want the big one. Again, you've got 12. You've got quarter inch and half inch on this one, that's all. $13.99. Oh, they have been opened. Oh, they are, so I didn't want to open them, so they have been opened. Oh, oh Hannah. Uh, if you want an even better, uh, there's a, there's, when you get these, there's a uh, thing on the back telling you where you can go and watch the video on how to make it. It's not a toy. They're not intended for children. These are intended for adult fashion and decorative uses only. Decorative? Don't put items into your mouth or ingest them. Oh. Does not include the, include the sewing machine. Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Anyway, I suppose they have to cover themselves. They're brilliant. So. Oh, fabric from the dressmaking show, yes. That's under here, that's here. Right. <coughs> I've, have you got the still of the dress anywhere? Is that possible? Yep, here you go. This is the grey one that the dress was made out of earlier. Um, if you remember, Deborah, new to us today, Deborah made a um, dress and or she, we showed us techniques on how to make a dress and a slouch cardigan. This is what the, the actual one that she had on the stand was made out of. This is the Marl. Grey Ponte Roma fabrics, like a jersey, gorgeous jersey. Here's the, here it is, here's the outfit there. Obviously, the necklace doesn't come with it. That's um, model zone. So that's the grey mall. That's the grey mall. Beautiful, isn't it, that one? Then I've got it in the black, which is the one that um, Deborah demonstrated on. She said two, she said two metres for a large... Two and a half metres for an extra large. For the dress. For the dress. I don't think she said for the um, jacket. Oh, Anne, tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, I've asked and asked and asked. We are getting other jerseys in, and we will be getting pattern jerseys in. It just takes... It's like... Uh, Someone once said to me, a friend of mine once took over the running of the fashion at Marks and Spencer's. And I said a year later, oh, you've not, not, you've not done much. And she said, it's like steering a great big cruise liner or a great big ship. And what you do is you make a decision up there in the room, little room with the glass room with the wheel, and you turn the wheel, but it takes forever for the ship to turn like that. And it's a bit like that. I'm not, I'm not criticising our buying department. I'm just saying, if we say to our buying department, oh, we want to buy, it's not like we just nip to the shop. We have to then get in touch with the wholesalers. They then have to send us samples. So it takes a while, but it's, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We want to get the right things. We don't just want to get any old rubbish, do we? Um, camel. Camel. In the Ponte Roma. Looks like cashmere, doesn't it? Team that with your oranges or your um, greens. Graphics coming in. Three ninety-nine. Half a meter. Oh, the camel's very limited. It's very wide as well, this fabric, by the way, look. Very wide camel that one was. It's not got anything to do with the camel. If you want to see the um 
composition of our uh, jerseys, you need to go to the website and look on the um, description of the fabric and that'll tell you exactly what's in there. Like, oh, the camel's about to sell out. The camel's about to sell out. Right, what did somebody else want to see? Stripology ruler. Right. So, um, if you, for example, if you're going around the world, or if you're doing a bargello, and you've got lots and lots and lots of strips to cut, there's the around the world, trip around the world. Oh, that is, that almost looks like a colouring in, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a quilt, does it? It looks like a piece of art. It's just gorgeous, right? That was in the 8 o'clock show. If you want to watch it on YouTube, it's on the 8 o'clock show. Um, Jane used the Stripology ruler. These have been out of stock. They've been back in today. It's been so popular. Every time we bring it in, it's so popular. So if you need to cut strips an inch wide, an inch and a half wide, two inches wide, two and a half inches, three, or lots. So you see the, the little stars there? They're all two and a half inch strips. The little square, no, the squares are two and a half, sorry. The stars are one and a half inch strips there. You've got the little, I don't know if you can see there, the little pear cut out there. Let me put a piece of fabric behind it, there you go. You see the little pear cut there, so you can get your rotary cutters in there before you start. You line your fabric up with the, with the um, one of the, the lines there, and straight the straight edge, and then you literally cut two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two. Takes so much time out of it. You can also, <coughs> excuse me, you know when you're squaring off blocks, um, you can do that with this as well. It's just a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic ruler. And you can just continue cutting strips. Strip. What it is, is if you cut the uh, uh, fold, I haven't got a whole piece of fabric here, but if you cut, a, get your bolt of, um, your piece of fabric, fold it in half, fold it in half again, you can cut a whole width of fabric in one go. It's just brilliant. It's 44 pounds and 99 pence. It's the Stripology non-slip ruler. Half of today's stock has gone already. Half of today's stock has gone already. Only came back into stock today. Only came back into stock today. And of course you do get all the, I, I, haven't just, I haven't given it full justice. When you get a, any Creative Grids ruler, you get such fantastic instructions with it all. Tells you everything. And you don't just have to do increments of half an inch, you can do three quarters of an inch as well. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Everything you need to do about squaring off, about cutting strips. It's amazing, isn't it? Thought of everything at Creative Grids. Okay, so that's £44.99. pence. Then, uh, the rotary cutter that Jane used earlier. Oh, sorry, I'm just jumping heads. Yep, yep. This is the rotary cutter that Jane used earlier. Now, we love this rotary cutter because, first of all, it's safe. Look, you can't open that blade at all. It's very, very popular. Uh, unlock it here, and you can then use it to cut your fabrics with. Now, the thing that's brilliant about this is if you drop... You know a lot of um, rotary cutters, when you open them, that's it, it's open like that. And if you drop it, it lands like that. If you drop this, the minute you drop it, you let go of the handle, the blade pops back in. The blade pops back to where it should be. It's got the, um, I'll just lock it before I do anything else. It's got the grip here. Now, a lot of people, Joy uses this. A lot of people don't use this, but it just, Joy says, it's, I'll do it that way around. It's good to have a, a grip there for your finger so you can keep it solid and straight. Don't worry, I've not opened it, so I'm not cutting anything like that. Uh, fantastic, and you can turn it into a left-handed one as well. All the instructions come with it to turn it into a left-handed one. And you can move the blade without actually touching the blade. It's a lovely shape, 24 pounds and 99 pence. Okay, loads of you got this. Loads of people have come in for this. Pink cutting board, a gorgeous pink cutting board. Now it's 60 by 45 centimeters. We've ordered more, but for the moment, it is quite limited. It's centimetres on one side, inches on the other, and the inches side has got the 30 degrees, the 60 degrees, and the 45 degree lines on it. Self-healing cutting mat. Lovely Christmas present. £14.99. Oh, right. Now, if you want, Hannah's saying, if you do want it for Christmas, please be careful, because it might not come back in stock before Christmas. So if you do want it as a Christmas present, we are limited at the moment on that one. Oh, okay. I've seen more than the amount we've got left go in at one show. So please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. 
Okay, quick and pick, and then that's, oh no, I've got a book, quick and pick in a book. Love this quick and pick. I've got what? Oh, okay. Uh, quick and pick. Oh gosh, single figures on these now. And it's a quick and pick with the top. Look, LED light. I swapped all the bulbs in my kitchen for LED bulbs last night, yeah. I didn't realise quite how many lights I had in my kitchen. Now, if you do the round the wheel to the Bargello, quite a fair bit of unpicking. Not because you've gone wrong, because you have to do it. That'd be brilliant. And then with the light there, so it doesn't get hot because it's LED. It comes with the batteries, little flat batteries inside. Ideal gift, ideal secret Santa, ideal stocking filler. Or if you've got, imagine if you've got um, a couple of ladies you do sewing with. Be a nice little gift for them, wouldn't it? <coughs> Say that again. Oh, single figures already. Single figures already. Then, what have I got on my phone? Oh, don't it's come off something here. Where is it? There. I don't know. Now, in the jersey uh, making, dress making show, Deborah used this. Amanda Wyatt uses it a lot. Um, it's Visling Iron On Bias Tape Form Band. It's five meters by 12 meters. What it is, if you're doing a shoulder seam or you want to stabilize the seam in a stretch fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> You iron this onto the fabric. It's because I was kneeling. It's because I'm leaning forward. It's really funny. I iron it onto the fabric along it's along the um, seam. It's got a stitch line through the middle of it. You put the stitch line through the middle of the seam. Iron it on, stitch it together, and it just holds uh, any seam that you don't want to move. So if you've got a very very if you're doing a circular skirt, and you've got bias. Um, seams and you just don't want them to move then you just iron this onto those stitch through it and it holds the seams beautifully oh and how did she know that she shouldn't have opened it yet and got an overlocker for christmas so she's interested in getting some of the jersey ponte roma jersey all right that's me done on this side i think isn't it oh no it isn't Right in front of me, it was because it was on the stand. <gasps> Versatile nine patch. Love this book, 21 pounds and 99 pence. What it's done is it's taken a basic nine patch, which is like the one Jane made for the, uh, well, it can be any shape really, but uh, take a basic nine patch and then show you all different projects you can do with it. Lucy's gonna make that one. Um, they're just beautiful, aren't they? So it's all techniques at the beginning of the book. And then the projects here, I love those quilts. You see, if they were in my house, they'd look so gorgeous sitting at the end of your bed. Anyway, uh, taking a basic nine patch, Lucy's done that one in a cushion, and making it into all these different patterns. It's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant book. It is brilliant. I love it. Love the drawings, love the paintings, love the applique, applique templates. You've got so much in there, but then they also put it into projects like for bags, bolster cushions, quilts. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, okay, I've got to go back to my fabrics. I've got to go back to my fabrics. That's a brilliant book, 21 pounds and 99 pence. Right, off we go. Do a recap on my fabrics and I'm off. Right, the two that are in the lead before are very much still in the lead, which are these two. So this is Chicory. Chelsea design in the Chicory. These are all brand new today. Premieres today. Made by, they're the Jitterbug range. Made by Amy Reba, or designed by Amy Reba, for Free Spirit. <coughs> Six ninety nine, lovely, lovely, lovely design. Um, we, lo we like these. The um, they're like ch well, they're not cheese plant, are they? They kind of look a bit cheese planty, but 
there's something else, there. but then you see they've got the um, hydrangea-y ones in there from, oh, in fact, this is a culmination of all of them, isn't it? It's got a bit of all of them in here. Six ninety nine for half a meter. I'll show you what half a meter looks like. There you go. That's what half a meter looks like. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, you can do so much with that. That would look lovely in a quilt, wouldn't it? Use it with some spectrum solids. Look beautiful in a quilt, wouldn't it? Six ninety nine for half a meter. So that one's chicory. And then this one here is um, Jessamina. These two are the most popular by far. It's really funny because I, well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you see, I thought, I knew this one would be popular, this, this design would be popular. I thought the um, uh, Etta would be very, very popular as well. Oh, I, I said I wouldn't mix them. I don't think I would mix them. Let me just have a look. Because you've got the little etta flowers in there. No, you see, no, 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 no. I wouldn't mix them. They're very, they're very, they're all individual, aren't they? They're kind of, um, I want to say busy, but I don't mean busy. But you know what I mean? They're kind of, they've got, they all fight for superiority in their ranking, don't they? Oh, you see, and I'll just show you that one. The most popular... Uh, spectrum solid was the foliage green, which I showed with those two. I'll come back to that in a second. This is the other one. Greens and blues, very popular. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Graphics coming in. Red bud. It's the Chelsea fabric, like the, the green and the blue ones you just saw, but in the um, red bud. Stunning, isn't it? So let's have a look at the green and blues in this one here, because these are very popular. When we showed this one, loads of people put this one in their basket straight away. You see, I, mm, I like that one as well. It's very striking, isn't it? Just, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? Different people are going to love different things, aren't they? This is the chicory color range, and the Carolina is the design. Six ninety nine for half a meter. That one in the green, and that one in the blue. Let me show you the blue one now. Very, very popular. I wonder if it's people. Are, lots and lots of people. They say it was the same yesterday. Going for the blues and greens. Well, just because it's the time of year and the people aren't ready for the pinks and the reds of summer yet. Navy blue background. Jessamina. This is Carolina fabric in the Jessamina colour. It's nice. I like that. It's very bold, isn't it? Right, I'm, I'm going to put these three fabrics together again because I think... And you may be sitting at home going, oh, John, what are you talking about? I think these three fabrics look gorgeous together. They're the Etta designs in chicory. This one, the middle one there is chicory. This is red bud, not red bull, as I said earlier. Oh, you see, I think, <coughs> excuse me, those three together look sensational. They're all the same price, so I'll just explain. The one in the middle, oh, hang on. So this is Jessamina. This is Chicory. And that's Red uh, Bud. I uh, see, I think, for me, they work brilliantly together. See, Anna agrees, so there must be something wrong. I love them all. They're all 6 for half a metre. What's the matter? I think they're lovely together. Really, really lovely. If you had to push me for one colour choice, I think I'd go with the chicory. 
I think I'd go with the chicory. Just fold that one up. There you go. There you go. If I was going to pick one of those, I'd pick the chicory. It's lovely, though, isn't it? Oh, now how funny, because the dark blue that I showed earlier as well of the spectrum solid. This is the dark blue in the spectrum solid is this one. 325 for half a metre. And then, oh, actually, look, let's look at these. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Oh, now you see, now we're talking. Which way am I going that way? So that's foliage green, that's dark blue, and that's the chicory. They look lovely together, don't they? Now, I've only got a couple of minutes left. Is there anything you want to see? You've got two minutes to get your messages in. Um, oh, now, oh, not me. If you're a new buyer, if you're a new buyer, if you're a new buyer, um, uh, you know sometimes you get, you, we, we used to give the sewing kit, then we gave the little scissors. This is, show the picture, show the picture, because Jay won't be able to find it. Three, two, one. Oh, Jay's got it. Hey there, Jay's beating you to it, Timothy. For a new buyer, and you do, uh, finishes today, finishes today. You spend over 10 pounds. Yeah, it's lovely, with your first order. Terms and conditions on the website does not include your posting packaging. Spend 10 pounds, they're lovely, aren't they? Right, shall we look at tomorrow's menu? Because now, look, I'm not in till next Monday. I'm not back in till next Monday. So you've got Natasha, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then you've got Derek, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think that's the way it works, anyway. Um, have a look at the menu for tomorrow. Jennifer Taylor's in tomorrow. Uh, denim shirt dress at eight o'clock. Oh, everything under 10 pounds at nine o'clock. The Celia pajama, you don't sell pajamas like that, do you? That's not how you spell pajamas. Uh, Jennifer Taylor. I mind you don't spell Jennifer like that either, do you? But there you go. Christmas, miss it, miss out. Oh, that's a good one at 11 o'clock. Gonna be a busy, busy, busy day tomorrow. What's the matter, what? Oh, I oh, didn't hear you say that, sorry. Who told you to spell pyjamas like that? Oh, pajama, pajama. What do you call your pajamas then, Joe? Oh, he calls them thong. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, Chanel number five. That's what Joan Collins said. What, what are you sleeping, darling? Oh, just Chanel number five. That was a long time ago. Anyway, I'm going home now. I've got a minute to talk to you. Anything you've got in your baskets, you need to check out. You need to check out. If you've got anything in your basket, please check out. Well done if you've got today's special 12 day of Christmas. Um, fantastic price, fantastic, fantastic price. And uh, what else? Oh, hang on, somebody's complaining. Haley's ringing, ringing up the gallery now. I'm in trouble for saying something now. Yeah, she says, oh, Haley's just messaging, you don't spell pajama like that. That's interesting. Anyway. Thanks ever so much for your company this morning. Wasn't Deborah brilliant? Deborah, absolutely brilliant. We love Deborah with her dressmaking. And um, obviously, Jane. Are there any of those left? And those kits left? Oh, I love it. I just love that. Uh, there's a few of the jewels and one of those kits left if you want to get that. Thanks for your company. Thank you for Jay for coming in, rushing in because Christopher was off poorly. Uh, you only get paid for half a shift, Jay, though. Uh, Thanks, ever so much company. I'll, I won't see you till next Monday. Have a fantastic time. If you're in London next weekend, I'll see you there. Take care. Join us for some festive fun on Wednesday, the 6th of December for these adorable new reindeer toys from star designer Joe Carter. Featured in the current issue of Simply Sewing magazine, our brand new kit includes enough materials to make both Rudolph and his reindeer friend, along with Joe's expert instructions. They'll make the perfect Christmas gift for children in your family and for big kids too. 
So don't miss Joe Carter's brilliant show at 10am on Wednesday, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.